Okay. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the next session of All Quiet on the Cerisian Front. Last time, we uh, cut off in the middle of a combat, so we're going to get back into that. But here in a moment, first, let's go ahead and get a recap of what happened from somebody who wants inspiration. Any volunteers? That would be me. Let's do it. We're going to take the helm, but we'll throw in things if you miss them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so we started off last session, uh, the night after, or the morning after, uh, the big battle and our little break, uh, got woken up, Zed got woken up by a knock on the door, it turned out to be a druid named Astra. Uh, Astra said that she had something for Ricky, so we proceeded to wake every one of us up, went room to room. Uh, Joe gave Astra some attitude and back and forth, so that... Mr. started it. Went. Okay, yeah. Well, Astra's pointing fingers. That's the way pretty to do sure. this. Pretty sure that's, that's how it happened. Uh, Astra's are... Astra's already up and working on something, said he needed time with something. Uh, we went into the room, and Astra proceeded to introduce herself and give Ricky the... Greater Restoration, Restoration Potion. Restoration yeah. potion uh, to cure the stone face. So Ricky no longer stone faced unless she's mad. For her, her, uh, her, her. Started to get to know each other a little bit. I think she asked her to introduce herself as our new member of our squadron. Uh, we had some breakfast, hanging out. Was the cake thing af at breakfast? No, it was at lunch. Okay. Yeah. Uh, then we uh, went on our duties. We went to <laughs> to the we wall. Went to sit on the wall. I forgot about that. During yeah, breakfast we... was also when um, Ash brought out Jasper. Oh yeah, yep. Jasper, a mechanical bird, a monculus. Uh, so that was cool. Uh, something else might have happened there at breakfast. Don't really remember. It's been a while. Um, we yeah, went to the wall. We Yep, we went to the wall. Uh, we all kind of did our own little thing there. Uh, Zed was trying to get some gossip and rumors. Mildly successful. Got a couple rumors of details, details. Don't care about details anymore. Yeah, don't worry about it. Uh, something about a dragon being on our side. Something about a weapon that hurts both the user and the other thing. I can't find the sentences, so that's memory. Uh, <laughs> I didn't feel like scrolling up while doing that. Uh, Joe decided to try to get some practice in learning her sharpshooter and just decided I really, to start I thought it'd be shots totally off okay. a wall. <laughs> I thought like, it'd be yeah, okay. Like just letting live rounds off while on guard duty on the wall without telling anybody. Proceeded to do it multiple times. Um, <laughs> then uh, Ricky decided to get morale up. I'll come back to that, don't you worry. Uh, Ricky decided to get morale up by hyping up everybody by running up a wall and i think there was some betting involved in that uh ash decided to uh make, make hand, hand warmers, warmers. yes <laughs> they went up in the tower made some hand warmers out of some concoctions for everybody try to help them out uh i think ash was only one that actually just did guard duty <laughs> Yeah, uh, she's the only Joe, one that yeah. even just fucking looked. <laughs> <laughs> only one that looked. Uh, Joe proceeded again to try to be sneaky and shoot bows, and then got caught, and she got put into uh, floor scrub and duty. Uh, Honestly, that's like, like normal. Brush. That's like normal post in the military. Uh, just one yeah. person actually looking, and then everybody else you fucking sweep do the it. sun off the sidewalk. Uh, uh, yeah, exactly. It's <laughs> not possible. <laughs> So Joe was on hands and That's knees, the scrubbing the floor with a toothbrush, and I'm pretty sure something happened to her. Like she wasn't even—it was just wet, and she just kept scrubbing off the wetness from the toothbrush. <laughs> it, just, it wasn't even dirty. Um, so that happened. I think I wasted like AJ's <laughs> in Spoda to get a <laughs> to, to increase yeah. my role for something completely pointless, which is no me. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. You finesse her out of. Uh... An inspo. Uh, we went to lunch, and uh, AJ Ricky was hiding something under the table. Uh, I think somebody was trying to poke, probably just Joe, trying to see what it was. 
something happened, and then she wind up. Somebody looked under the table. I think it was actually Astra. Looked under the table, and she went to go hide it and squash the cake. Uh, from a really bad dex roll, I think it was, or something like that. Yeah, it was just like a, a it was like a sleight of hand to hide <laughs> it. Right? Just, like, and like, it. Not one. <laughs> yeah, it was the <laughs> one. And pulled it off, just cake in both hands. <laughs> put it back on the table. Very defeated look on Ricky's face on that one. Um, and as right after that happened, we got alarms went off pretty much that there was an attack. Um... So we got called over. I think they said they were breaking into the sewers. We were put on follow chase duty to see what was going on down there. Uh, on the way out, Joe snuck a piece of the cake that Ricky didn't even get a chance to try, which is kind of fucking rude if you ask me. But um, So as we start to go over to where they told us that there was the break-in at, uh, we found the, uh, the, I think it was the wall entrance where they broke in at it. It looked like it was like acid. Mm -hmm. um, perfectly like melted through the wall and then into the down to go into the sewers same thing as well uh, we go down into the sewers and um, we do a little little bit of stealth at first trying to scout out what's going on we see some skeletons some zombie things some undead uh, we proceed to a pack um, and we got the first few down pretty quickly as we started to Continue stealthing out of nowhere. Joe pops a shot off with the gun. Rude. Okay. And then uh, everybody down do. there was aware that we were there. So they all start filing in from the north, uh, southwest corner. Uh, there was a corridor that a ton of them started uh, dogpiling in through. Asher turned into a bear um, and tried holding that point down with Ricky uh, at the forefront. Um, an exuberant amount started coming through. I think that did a fog cloud and Joe did a spike growth to kind of cut them off. And we caused like a choke point on that end. Uh, we started getting attacked from the other side as well. Just one guy there. And then we failed like seven perception checks to see what a floating head coming from that uh, east side. And turned out that that is a gelatinous cube. Um, the cube. Joe went down. Uh, there was poison being like poison bombs being thrown, um, and it was sitting in there. So Joe decided to get low and be on the ground, pretty much. I, I feel like there's water. judgment in this in this recap. In, in poop water, <laughs> and she now has. I feel like you're painting Amar this narrative in a specific light. Amaranthy herpes on her face. No, uh, what happened was I was things. down low in the middle of this Astra poison cloud. I got, got hit. It. Hold hold your horses. I got hit and then I, I lost concentration on the thorns. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to keep it, so I rolled an inspo for it. My own inspo, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> oh, you pushed <laughs> and it. And I failed. I failed, so I pushed it. Yeah. And then I, 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 I failed again, so I got I got, got I got the conse the mouth. consequences of my actions. The quincies. Um, as well as Astra got bit a couple times and I think failed to roll, so Astra now has amaranthy leprosy. Um, and we started pulling back a little bit to regain our thing, to regain our like our form. Um, and we took a good chunk out. Uh, we cast Shatter on the Southwest group, taking out a good chunk of them while they're in the fog cloud. There's a couple of the powder bombs thrown on one on the Southwest, one on the East side. The cube was um, bombed, I think. I yeah, think it's, uh, AJ bombed Ricky the cube. Threw, yeah, 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 yeah. Threw a bomb at the cube. It was like, it was like um, blah, 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 blah. So I, I think particularly enjoyed the image of the smoke. <laughs> out of the queue. <laughs> I like to think it expanded really quick and then and that's then exactly contract again. what happened. <laughs> and then it's still around. Uh, but yeah, it's yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's where we nice recap. Off. I think you've covered all the bases. Before uh, we start. Okay. Echo, Sal wants to know if you want a cookie. <laughs> uh, the important. Sure. sure. <laughs> oh, on. Who's saying important. no to that? First off, let's start off with that. Who's saying no to it? <laughs> I knew. I know you don't check your private messages during the session, but I do, and I was talking about cookies. Yeah. Oh, 
Also, none of you ever used this, but if you whisper me on Foundry, normally I get a little message that says, here's a whisper. How do you whisper. do that? How do you Slash do that? whisper. Oh. GM. <laughs> Is it one word? You can either write in echo.dm or you can write in GM. Is, so, slash, slash whisper, whisper GM. Space GM. Slash oh, whisper and, and then, then the name. Space. Again for the. Here, I'll just type it. Slash whisper space. Did that work? Yeah, it worked. Okay, now I know. <laughs> Normally, when I had a mod that would be like, ping, there's a whisper to you. Uh, because that is the way that I can hear whispers, except no one ever uses it. So now that that mod doesn't work, I didn't it know doesn't it matter. fucking existed. <laughs> I have explained it to you many times. So let's go uh, ahead. Last, last point. I think we did notate and tell, because I think Ricky was on the east side. We did say, like, do not let that thing get close to you. But yeah, so we're all kind Ricky of aware. is well aware that the Jiggle Boy should not be touched. Yes. The, all right. Uh, mm. So. I think we are ready to dive into the rest of this combat. Uh, this combat is not done. Um, let's go ahead and get into it. Mm -hmm. If you all recall where you are. Good job with the recap, douche. Yeah, well handled. Just, I, I haven't thought about it since the end of last session, and that was all off the top. Uh, you are still concentrating on that fog cloud, correct? Uh, I'm almost positive I am. Okay, I need you to recast it so we can replace the token. Because, surprise, surprise, it broke. Uh, so I just <laughs> need to know how big it is. Because I remember where it was. I just need to know how big it 20. was. 20 foot radius? I didn't up. Or 20 yeah, I didn't upcast it. Okay. Uh, 20 foot sphere. Yes, that's exactly where it was. I said I remembered. Let me just double check through uh, prior checks to make sure I didn't fail any concentration. I can't remember what the game plan was. Were we were we, were we finishing these guys off or were we fleeing? Uh, well, we're getting pincered right now. Yeah. So I think we're the last thing we were doing was I was moving up with Astra to kind of uh, choke point this right here. I think you guys were supposed to try to take care of the, I don't uh, think I'm going to be any use against the Q. I only have bullets. I don't think that'll do much. Oh. But well, I have I magic bullets, bullets and I can too. take out these fuckers. Hopefully. I don't think any of us really could do... I mean, I can hit the cube. I got force damage. I have another bomb. <laughs> ah, yeah. I think I remember we were like, yeah, use the second bomb, but then the session ended, so I think that was the game plan for that. Yeah. Well, I know Ash is planning on using another bomb. It is the top of the next turn. It's Aaron's Aaron Line's turn, but first. Oh wait, let me pull this out. We can oh. see those. Who's oh. rolling stuff? Oh, that's right. me. Yeah, that's fine. They're private rolls, so you can see me yep. rolling them, but you can't see what they roll. That's you fine. rolled in. They hate me. They hate in. <laughs> rolling and trying to catch me. You white nerdy. <laughs> okay. All right, Aaron. She is going to fall back this way. Unfortunately, the uh, the ruler is no longer easily available. Now you have to hold control in order to make it work. Sorry. Uh, that's how these things work sometimes. She's going about to... The ruler works. There used to be a ruler where if you dragged your token, it would just show you. Oh. It doesn't anymore. Uh, she will shoot an arrow at the gelatinous cube. Hitting with a 14. And it does get sneak attack because she was stealthed, according to my notes. Okay. She hits it for 15 points of piercing damage. She's a super sneak, super sneak. And then does she's... it look like it does damage? Yes. Uh, then she's going to look at the situation, uh, and she decides to climb up the ten feet. <laughs> Smart uh, girl. Thinking that might be safer. Next. How do I? Creature's gonna move here. There we go. Here. 
in here. Next. Both poison clouds dissipated, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. It was right after I got a good lungful. Yeah. I'm getting mm -hmm. a lemon cookie, by the way. I know you're all excited for me. It's now Astra's turn. Uh, the polar bear is going to try and... Well, it's got plenty of health. She's So she's going to move up here to try and physically impede their progress and just make some claw attacks. Does this guy have my hex? Because I know I have hex on somebody. Yeah, he's marked. Okay. Okay. Uh, the claws hit, the bite does not. Astra deals 9 damage to this greater zombie. Uh, and that's her turn, Zed. <clears throat> okay. What do you do? Uh, I'm just looking at one thing. I didn't use sorcery points yet. That's right to know. I'm going to do something very different. I'm going to cast a Chaos Bolt. Okay. On Where? On this one. Okay, go for it. Is that one of the ones that bounces? It can. Yes. It can. Love it. 24. Yeah, that hits. I, I gotta remember how to do this, so I click this. So you roll 2d8 and then d6. If the d8s uh, are the same, it bounces. It bounces. You can choose which d8 to decide what type of damage it is. Yeah, I'm trying to think if I should do acid or lightning. Lightning not. Yeah, I was thinking that. I'm gonna do lightning. Well, your D8 determines what kind of damage. Oh, it is. so it's you five or one. What? You roll the D8s, and then the D8s tell you what kind of damage the chaos bolt is, but you choose which one of them it is. So you could do five or one, whichever those correspond to in your list. Yeah, so yeah, that's lightning acid or, or lightning. Acid. So yeah. Oh, yep. oh, great. So I did nine points of lightning damage. Okay. This zombie is made of sturdier stuff, and while that does hit and deal full damage, that zombie has a lot of health. Okay. Uh, it was effective, though, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. It hit it as well. And... Okay. I'm going to uh, burn two sorcery points to do the thing, whatever it's called. I'm going to quicken. Okay. Uh, two sorcery points, and I am going to... Oh! Uh, yep. I just remembered something. I'm going to put mm -hmm. the entire game on pause here, in the middle of your turn, because there's a rule that I'm considering trying to use and seeing how you all feel about it. And I've just remembered oh it now. Oh, yeah, going at the same time. What? Right? No. no. Shut up. Okay. So this... <laughs> <laughs> the idea is... Fighters and true, like, martial classes get two attacks at level 5. Casters, once they reach level 5, I think, should no longer have to care about one leveled spell per turn. Oh. I'm super cool with that. Yeah, I figured yeah. you the would be. <laughs> I mean, I usually just Eldritch Blast anyway, so it's not going to make a huge effect, but yes. Sure. That's my idea, it's just that wizards, warlocks, sorcerers, they can just, uh, clerics, if they have, if they're hasted, or if they have a bonus action leveled spell they want to cast in addition to a regular leveled spell, once they reach level 5, they just can't. Wait, did you say hasted? So hasted not just one extra attack, I could do a whole extra thing? If you're hasted, yeah. You can cast Fuck two yeah. different spells. action spells. Yeah, so, I mean, if, one, if they're both concentration, you, you kind of shoot yourself in the foot for that, but... What I'm saying is, yep. I would treat spells as an attack. Yep. And at level 5, marshals get an extra attack, so why don't casters? That's that's the okay. idea. I don't have a problem okay. with that. We can try it. Oh. If it ends up skewing things too much, we can undo it, but let's give it a shot. So I can do two fire bolts back-to-back, -back, just... If, bam, bam. if you are hasted, or if one of them is a bonus action. Oh, okay, gotcha. It's They still have to take an action. An action, bonus action, normal action but economy. I can, yeah. Pretty much I can Chaos Bolt and then... You could Chaos uh, Bolt again with Quickened if you wanted to. 
Yeah, or Misty Step. And... Or any yeah. spell yeah. with a level. Yeah. That's an action. Or a Sweet spell cool. action. I just think that the leveled spell limitation, especially specifically for Misty Step, makes Misty Step kind of useless, aside from just yeah. getting out of trouble, which is great and all, but it limits what you can do. So. Mm-hmm. It'll make a lot of the bonus action spells more useful, I think. That's what mm-hmm. I think. In general, yeah. I'm willing to I mean, try it out. Just... I don't know if it'll make a huge difference for Joe, but it might for other characters I play. I just we'll Eldritch Blast anyway, so... If, if a, <laughs> it'll if a, help. If a spell says it's an action, it takes an action, but that action can be a hasted action. That's okay. all I'm saying. All right, let's get cool back into it. Yeah. All right, Zed, second half of your turn. What are you doing? Uh, so first things first, you see the Chaos Bolt. Uh, swirling energy comes out of him, and he shoots it forward. And he kind of peeks over his shoulder, and he sees the gelatinous cube approaching down. Uh, so he's going to turn around. As he's casting that Chaos Bolt, he's going to shoot an Eldritch Blast with Quicken Spell, one of them at the gelatinous cube. Okay, go ahead. Uh, it's... Um... 27? Yeah, that is. It's AC is 6. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh my god. For 10 force damage. It's a and giant if... cube that doesn't move. <laughs> For a giant cube. It's got like 10 movement speed. Yeah. Um, and if it can get moved, it gets pushed back 10 feet. Uh, because it is immune to prone, I'm going to say it's immune to pushing effects. Because okay. it's a huge cube of acid. So that's 10 force There's damage. There's a solid plan that there. Page. But, yeah. however, as the 10 punches into it, all of you watch as the entire cube, like, it just yeah, undulates and jiggles from zone. the blast, like, waves going through the entire... Like slapping someone's stomach. <laughs> sure. <laughs> just oh. like that. Just mine. <laughs> and so right now, Zed is just, like, looking back and forth. He has both hands extended, one at the group in front and one at the gelatinous cube, and he's going to actually send his other Eldritch Blast at that same zombie he shot out originally. Okay. So he, like, <laughs> like different directions facing yeah, and yeah. things out of his hands. <laughs> uh, that's a 14. A 14 does not hit. Okay. I've gone for the cube. Let's see if I have anything. Well, there's like five of you back there for the cube, and there's one bear with seven people. I'm gonna help the bear. I promise. <laughs> All right, okay. I'm just real low on the initiative. Um, yep, that is my turn. And I am going to move up a little bit, because bear is technically blocking that hole. Don't ever tell Simic, but that bear is in a great spot, and it's really helping us in this fight. <laughs> I would never say it to his face, though. Okay. He's Thank God lo- this is not recorded. I know, right? <laughs> Shit! <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't listen to recordings. <laughs> yes, he does. Uh, oh. <laughs> okay. It's now this soldier's turn. Uh, it's going to... It, like... So, because it's at the edge of the fog cloud, it kind of, like, tries to peer over the zombie to see the situation... And it, it, you see its head just, like, emerge. <laughs> and then it backs up uh, because it's in danger. And it's going... It can't really make maneuvers from that position. Bear with me here. It's going to... It's a weird spot. Hit it. Bear. It's going to make an attack at disadvantage on the polar bear with its pike. Because it has reach. Um, oh, nice. That's not nice. Yeah. Disadvantage. Oh, he's got, like, a 12 AC. Yeah, it's a bear. Uh, but that nest advantage made it a one. Uh, so you watch as the pike just, like, completely not even close. Like, out in the middle of the air, two feet away from the bear. Um, and it's gonna, he's Barely gonna multi-attack missed. and try again. Shut up, class. That was unfair. <laughs> I, I heard, heard that. that. <laughs> okay, that time it's a 17 to hit, which does hit. Unbearable. It's like a polar opposite of the other roll. Wow. Okay. Astro's bear really form winning takes today. 11 points of damage. <laughs> I'm going to hurt all of you. Uh, <laughs> it's now the greater zombie's turn. It cannot push past the bear, so it's going to attack the bear. It's going to slam it. Uh, straight roll. Natural 20. Uh, um... <laughs> He's not here, so I don't like that. I'll use the inspiration and just go. Okay. 
I roll again. Uh, that became a 24 to hit. But it's not a crit. It is not a crit, which is good, because that crit would have done 27 points of damage. Yeesh. Instead, yeah. he takes 15 points of damage. Okay. Slightly better. Uh, Hello, Eve. He says, Mow. That was its first attack, and it will swing again. Uh, it that's a twelve to hit, which is the bear's AC. It's a bear's AC. <laughs> no, that feels bad. Yeah, the bear takes twelve points of damage <coughs> total. Uh, All right, that's that greater zombie's turn. It can't do anything else. This white. Is still on the fog cloud. It can't see. It can't hear. Well, it can hear, but it can't see anything. Um, what's it gonna do? It's gonna make a ranged attack at disadvantage. Fire blindly. Yeah. Is that the one with the heat metal, metal on it? I think so. Uh, yeah, it is. Okay. Oh, so my hex might not be on anybody then. I believe the target that was hexed was the same one. Okay. You were both just DPing this guy. I was wondering why I hexed the guy in the back, but that's fine. Well, he rolled a seven to hit, so an arrow just out <laughs> and clatters off the wall. Uh, it will try again. Hits the cube, right? No, uh, yeah, around the corner. <laughs> All right, Ash, it's your turn. All right. Uh, well, I'm gonna keep true to what I was gonna do, and oh, uh, I'm uh, gonna. This guy was the one that was uh, one? hexed. Hexed. So he's dead. You can oh, move your hex when you want. To. Okay. Thank you. Uh, yep. I'm gonna chuck one of these bombs into the gelatinous cube and uh, see if I can. Explode it. Uh, okay. I don't know. Goo it's everywhere. a deck save, right? It is a deck save. DC Sweet. 15. Uh, it has a minus 4 to its dexterity save. So it needs to roll a 19 or above? It rolled a 10 for a 6. Oh, nice. buddy. Uh, <laughs> roll damage. 8d6? Yep. It's the same as a fireball, basically. We... Okay. One. You and the the flare fuse begins to burn hot at the end of this powder bomb. As you throw it into the gelatinous cube, it is still just slowly progressing forward. The ground seeming to become almost cleaner by the gelatinous cube's acidic effects on everything. And as the powder bomb just into the center of it, it seems unperturbed until the gelatinous cube is just splatted on all of the walls all around uh -oh. the tunnel of this sewer. And it oh. is destroyed. Sorry, Ricky. We're not the boss lady, is right? <laughs> uh, technically, yes. Uh, Ricky is. Uh, Ricky, I need a deck save from you. Um, but but if it's danger, you can see, so you roll at advantage. Also, if you succeed, you will take Thank no you. damage because the explosion was contained by a gelatinous cube. We ducks saving at advantage. Yeah. DC fifteen. Oh, nailed oh. it. Yeah, great. You don't take any damage. You dodge the goo. You basically step back as a bunch of <laughs> acidic gel just <laughs> all over the ground around you. Uh. Okay. In this case, it is gone. complete. The, the token <laughs> is gone. Uh, Ash uh, just kind of marvels at how cool that was and says, uh, cube down, cube down. <laughs> and uh, uh, he's going to, oh, the bear is not looking too great. Um, no, no, it is not. Uh, but that it is, it, it is a wild shape. So, yeah, that is, it's second wild shape, too. That is true. Yeah, so. He doesn't have any more. Uh, squishy druids. Uh, do I do more damage to that? I can bonus Squ action. Squishy druid. Heat metal. <laughs> I, I think you should heal action. because I'm I'm up next and I have, you know, massive damage output. 
Sure. Okay. Yeah. Um, flex, but okay. How is that a weird gonna, flex? That's just a normal flex. Take the uh, like gun that he uses for his firebolt. Change out the cartridge real quick, and then shoot the polar bear with a healing word um, needle <sighs> right in that right in the ass. <laughs> Don't worry, it'll make you feel better. Yeah. Promise. <laughs> hey, Max Healing. Oh, you're working in role play as the Astra the bear. There it is. Only if it's bear noises. Yeah, I'm not going to say anything <laughs> as actual Astra. Okay, yeah. Heals for nine. Well done. Uh, anything else in your turn? Any movement? Uh, I think that's it. I'm going to just kind of reposition like little further away try to get a better view of these guys here okay. uh and then i will tell jasper to just kind of hover around uh the bird seems to acknowledge your order mm, hover around the bear and help help action uh, help the bear yeah. so unfortunately giving commands to your homunculus is a bonus action is oh it is never mind that next time Next. Yes. Time. Uh okay. Next. This zombie is going to move up. And that's where it ends up. Joe, you're up. Let me eat my words on the damage output. Okay, I'm gonna take a shot at this guy with my magical ammunition. Actually first, Hunter's Mark. Uh which will give me a two additional damage on it, but Oh, I'm missing so many. I'm like, okay. I'm sorry, sweet boy. I hate it. All right. <laughs> so with my hunter's mark, I get. I think I get advantage. You have advantage on your first attack on a marked yes. target as an outrider. Yes. Okay. So fire with advantage. Twenty-five to hit. That hits. Twenty-six to hit because it was magical ammunition. Damage will Still be. Hits. Oh, that sucks. Womp womp. Seven <laughs> plus two is nine for the first Oof. attack. That I know. TPS, though. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to attack again. Like the ADC uh, has one item. 28 to, 29 to hit. Yeah, that hits. Total damage is... Come on, man. <laughs> nine damage. Stop laughing at me. <laughs> Plus I'm only laughing mark. because you said I got the big damage. Beat my ass. Fourteen total. Wait, nine plus six. Fifteen total yes, for 15 that second damage. attack. You're doing great. You broke single digits. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> but coupled with the the nine before that. Yeah, it was a good. Yep. Yeah. Uh okay. Anyways, you... I'm gonna go. Uh, <laughs> You fire there. twice. I'm just, I'm just Joe. I'm gonna go now. I'm just like <laughs> <laughs> you're aiming for the creature's head, but unfortunately, it's just moving too much as it's swinging at the polar bear, and both shots just slam into its shoulder. Effective, but not nearly as strong as you wanted them to be. Uh, all right, Joe, that's your turn. It's now yeah, and I got it behind this wall so I can, you know, be out of line of sight. Mm-hmm. Moving tokens off camera. Zombie? Which is this one? Oh, he's over here. Okay. Up you go. Look at me play with myself. Is that playing with uh, All right. It's now this gas turn, the one you can actually see. It's going to take a swing at the polar air. It's nearly dead. Uh, but it's going to try. It rolls a natural 20. Really? Really. I don't have anything for that. Uh, I think the bear's getting crit. Yep, the bear takes 23 points of Ouch. piercing damage. My nine still help. Yes, it's yes, still it a did. bear. Yes, it did. Oh, 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 shit. Oh, <laughs> uh, <in our> mind, <sighs> the bear needs to make a constitution saving throw versus the stench. Yuck. Let's see how he does. Astra resists the horrible smell and does not become sickened by the presence of the gas. Have you ever seen a polar bear puke? I'm sure it's a sight. All right, Ricky, you're up. 
Okay, um... Well, let's see here. I think I will... I probably can't get to them too close. As a medium you creature, you can occupy the same square as a large creature. So you can be in the same space as the polar bear. Great, I just want to run up and smash this guy in the face with my axe. Before you move, axe, then. could you like listen in this direction to see if anything is like coming? Yeah, sure. Zed told me to watch this um, this this direction. I mm -hmm. received that direct, so I will try and follow orders and see if there's anything left that direction for me to attack. Roll perception. Okay. You got this. I like to think that Ricky was getting ready to move, and Joe's. Can you oh. just can you just like listen over there real quick? <laughs> you don't hear anything. <laughs> you just check out that pad. Yeah. It's okay. So I... Ash has it. He's ferocious. So I just yell at Zed that I, everything's been taken care of over here, and then I'm gonna <laughs> run. Yeah, we need we need some help over here. Run up here and just swing my axe at this this dude's face. Okay. As you run up to him, go for it. Make your attacks. Would you like to rage? If am I? I assume I am raging. raging. You should be. You're raging because you were. Yeah, because okay. you were in the middle of the fight. I don't remember it dropping. It didn't. Drop yeah. Yet. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you so still keep I'm... it if you throw a bomb. It's in. Yeah, attack. that's a, that's a hostile action. Ooh, nice. Yeah, it's like throwing um, a javelin. And what the heck? I'm really excited about that um, cube blowing up in front of me, mm -hmm. and so I'm going to recklessly attack this guy. Oh yeah. Um, okay. So. Go ahead and make your attack. No wrecks involved. 22 Ooh. hits. Plus two, so 15. 15 points of slashing damage. Good hit. Uh, despite the fact that this zombie looks hardier than the rest of them, your axe bites deep, and it's clear that this zombie is now half health. Great, I'm That's really a tough zombie. Really excited, so I just go one direction and just backhand the other direction. Okay. For my second attack. Still at advantage. Thank you. Ugh. Ten. Something it's something's not, not right with the great axe. The numbers don't look right. What do you mean? It's mm -hmm. not adding proficiency. Huh. Hold on. Are you rolling from D&D &D Beyond, or are you rolling from Foundry? No, because I don't have the, um... I have to have the plug-in, right, for Chrome. Mm -hmm. You do have to have Beyond 20, 20 yes. It's saying you are not proficient, which doesn't make it... Hang on, let me re-import you again. Sorry. It's yeah, okay. that doesn't make any sense. So it's whatever you rolled plus proficiency, which is 3, so it should be a 16? Or wait, did I... That's not... No, it'd be, thir it'd be 13. It'd be 13. A 13 so, yeah. would still miss, but... Uh, hold on. Oh, that looks better. Now my armor looks correct, too, because my armor wasn't correct before, okay. or my AC. I yeah. have imported everybody so many times. Mm -hmm. Um, alright. Unfortunately, your swing will still miss, but... At least the page is now accurate. Hold on a moment. I'm gonna re-import everybody once again. Okay. Uh, where'd you go, Joe? There you are. Mojo Jojo. I am Mojo Jojo. I used to love that cartoon. <laughs> All right, Ricky. Uh, anything on your bonus action? Um, no. Spit on him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I do that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm so disgusted by the jelly stuff. That is not proper food. <laughs> but that's true. Uh, the zombie seems unperturbed. Uh, okay. This one is going to move here. What's this effect on me? Herpes. Is that it looks what like is? it looks like Z it like Z. It, it's an so, I on something. What'd you do to me? What? <laughs> oh shit! Oh, oh shit! <laughs> That's what, what are you doing? doing? You're white. Oh, oh you're right, white. No, I think that. 
<laughs> I fixed that. I didn't realize that clicking it would make it worse. You, you just you died. Kept clicking it. <laughs> I thought I could cycle it back to one. That's... I just killed my. I just killed my. <laughs> 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 you are exhausted, though. You are exhausted at level oh, one. Oh, shit. Because so of that affect the, my, uh, That's just ability checks. Exhaustion level one is just ability checks, right? Yeah. Okay, I didn't want to have to fucking remake those attack rolls. Jesus Christ. I'm sorry, I didn't know. I'm trying to... This interface is really annoying. Okay. Uh, yeah, you are at exhaustion level one. <laughs> All right. It's now this soldier's turn. Uh, oh. He's going to do something that you all can't see. Okay, and now it's this gas turn. He can't move. So now it's the zombie's turn. He's going to move here. Okay. Aaron's turn. Aaron is going to uh, hop down to take a gander at the situation. See that the gelatinous cube is gone and is going to take a shot at the big scary zombie. And she misses. Damn it, Aaron. And then she will go back and hide again. This white is going to back up here and take an attack at disadvantage. This should be right here. Uh, he's going to take an attack at disadvantage at you, Ricky. Uh, that's a 19 to hit. Yep. Advantage, damn. The other roll, the other die was a d20. It was a natural 20. Uh, uh, Ricky, you take nine points well, of piercing damage, which is half. It should have been flat then, because I... It should have been a flat roll, because I was... I did, uh... Oh, it was whatever. reckless. You are correct. Yeah, reckless. The first die was a 15, so it's still a 19 oh. Okay. Okay, okay. this was okay. the natural 20. You take nine points of piercing damage, which you get to half, because you're raging. Yep. And then it will loose another arrow in that vague direction. That doesn't hit anything. That's a six. All right. Hi, Keyleth. She's so She's annoyed. She's like, put me down. So annoyed. <laughs> put me down. It's now the polar bear's turn. Uh, let me look at how many spell slots Aster has. One moment. Oh, I have to re-import her again? Hold on. Sorry. The way your background is blurring your cat's face class makes it look like she's in witness protection. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't I have, know her identity. <laughs> well, I'm just doing that very quickly. I was in Sweden once. I was watching cops in Sweden, and there was a pigeon that got stuck in the underground. Five cops saved the pigeon, and they blurred the pigeon's face on Swedish TV. <laughs> I think I know what you're talking about. They blur all corp culprits' faces, including the animals. <laughs> <laughs> so protect his identity. Yeah. How many... I was like by myself in a hotel room dying at four in the morning drinking <laughs> wine. Um, I'm sorry, I'm trying to find the number of spell slots available to Astra at the moment. Okay. I'm going to use a third level spell slot as Astra to recover 3d8 of her well shape using her bonus. Oh, thank action. goodness, Moon Druid. Uh, she recovers 11 hit points. If I'm not mistaken, Astra hasn't used any spells yet. No, I just looked at her sheet. She hasn't. Yeah, uh, I'm going to just spend one. Eve. Stop it. Yeah. Spend the ball. Just one. All. Oh. Uh, Okay, I've cast the spell magic without actually casting spell magic, just so that the foundry recognizes I'm spending the spell slot, but it doesn't, it's not counting it. Did uh, you roll 3d8? I, I rolled it already. She healed for 11. Okay. okay, I'm sorry. One moment. Trying to find 
Not anything nothing. helpful. Yes. Why is this so? Oh. Everything new is hard. She has three third level spell slots. Okay. Got it. So now she has two. All right. She's going to use her action to attack this gas that's almost dead. Just try and get it off Kill the it. field. And she hits it with a 16. Slamming it for 12 points of slashing damage. This gas is immediately destroyed. Uh, you, Ricky, you did because I did my uh, my gift thing. Zed, you're up. Uh, okay. I'm determined to shoot this guy in the face with stuff. I pew pew with an Eldritch Blast. 23. Eldritch oh, Blast. Can I hex it? <laughs> can you hex it? Yeah, I forgot I, my hex is still not up. If not, I will do this, it next That's time. fine. What are you okay, hexing? So the big zombie? The same one I'm shooting. Okay. Uh, so it is. This plus a d6. So it's going to be 11 force damage. Yeah, and... max. And, what? You rolled max that's... for your hex. Oh. oh, okay. And six necrotic. Well, so seventeen. Unfortunately, the necrotic doesn't seem to do anything to it. Oh, anything shit. at all? Okay, nothing. But it does take force damage as normal. Yeah. So second eldritch blast is going to be a nineteen. Yeah. Twenty-eight. And that is. And uh, nine force damage. Okay. Gotta roll the hex damage, anyways. I'm not rolling. It doesn't do anything, unfortunately. <laughs> it is a, he appears to be immune and necrotic. He appears to be a dick. Used, I used my bonus action already. Uh, that's my turn. Okay. Uh, this soldier does something you can't see. I don't like Get that. Line, pal. But you watch As the hardy zombie in front of you, Ricky, suddenly seems to regenerate some of its fortitude. <laughs> oh, fuck. Shit, shit, shit. Uh, which it's now its turn. It's going to try and slam you, Ricky. With advantage, yeah. because you did it. Uh, you did it real good. You hit it really hard. It didn't like that. And then you spat on it, which it didn't care about. <laughs> Natural twenty. I think that's. Really Are you serious? Go. You're rolling so well. It's can I fair. can I use my tail attack to reduce it, or is it a natural twenty no matter what? I crit always. A natural twenty always hits. It's always crits. So okay. Bad, if you don't well, have inspo, I have. Oh, I have inspiration. Why don't we? I have an inspiration from last time. Yeah, I think that was. Go ahead time. and re-roll it. Okay. Thank you for the reminder, douche. And roll again. And that's not completely pointless, like my usage of yours was. <laughs> that became a sixteen to hit. Um, I will go ahead and use my re tail reaction. Okay. Uh, and whatever I roll, it's going. My AC is 16, so I can roll okay, it. Okay, so but, you don't have to roll. Yeah. You just yeah. You deflect its slam. Uh, it will try again. Yeah. No. <laughs> no shot. Did you Natural do it again? 20. I did Natural it again. <laughs> That's okay. So it's in, it's my fate. Ah! Yeah, it's meant to be on the second one. <laughs> Echo, what the fuck? I don't know, dude. What do you want from me? I want you to stop rolling so good. <laughs> uh, okay, so that is 15 points of bludgeoning damage and 16 points of necrotic damage. And the bludgeoning is half. Okay. Yeah, that's why I split it up for you. So okay. seven 16. points of bludgeoning total and 16 yep. necrotic. Okay. 23. Damn. Uh, that's his turn. Uh, it's now this... The the blind ranger's gonna lose some arrows. <laughs> phew, phew. 
Uh, that that's a 22 to hit the polar bear, which hits the polar bear. Roll I two 18s. The new dead symbol. Yeah, it's spooky. slightly different. That's spooky. Okay. Master the polar bear takes six from that arrow, and the white will fire so, again. It looks like it's actually funny. The people dead up here have the old dead symbol. Uh huh. Yeah. That's what I was just looking at. Uh, that seven doesn't hit anybody. Ooh. Ash, it's your turn. Come on, Ash from the fire. Ash from the fuego. How are you looking there, Ricky? Oh, are you talking, class? Because we can't hear you. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> hmm. Okay. Well, this polar bear, we we depend on it to be up. So he's going to run right up to its ass. And, uh, gonna combat medic. Okay, roll me a medicine check at disadvantage. Cool. 19 healing to the polar bear. Okay. That bear is our wall, Enrique. Yep. Now, unfortunately, stops them from coming through. Astra it's... is immune to your combat medic until she's completed a long rest. Okay, that's what I was thinking about. Yeah, uh, and just then because I'm she's back in bear up. form, you you cannot perform surgery on the entity that is Astra again. Yeah, I'm gonna back up ten feet. Um, after doing that, real quick, and well, as a bonus action. I'm just going to trigger uh, heat metal on this one. So, 2D. Uh, Somewhere okay. in the darkness we hear... No, it dies. Yeah. It had one hit point. Oh, hell oh. yeah. <laughs> okay, that's something. That's another one down. Uh, yeah. Oh, they're still up, but... <laughs> Fuck. Uh, that's the end of his turn. Okay. So me. Here, Joe, you're up. I step down so I can get a sight. I still can't see in the cloud, but I can see this mm -hmm. bastard. Still have Hunter's Mark, so I will attack. It's not at advantage anymore. It's right. your first attack every turn first on attack a target. Per turn. Hunter's mark. Thank you. Natural twenty. With nice. My... Okay. You didn't Fuck roll yeah. the damage. I know I didn't I didn't say it was magic. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't make any difference between plus one. It it, it does damage. if it doesn't if it's not affected by non magical damage. Oh. So I don't know if it is it does or doesn't, but here's the roll. Plus two D six. We don't do crunchy? Yes we do. Uh but Foundry appears to have forgotten that I have that setting. Aww. So, well, it's okay. We can just do the math. Well, real quick. 3 plus 6 is 9. 12 plus 12. So 24 points of damage plus 36. No. Why did you roll 2d6? Why are you plus doing nine. this to me? Because of Hunter's yeah. Mark. Hunter's Mark. Roll, I just one the, uh, roll 1d6, please. It's 3 plus 6. So okay, nine. so 9. Uh, okay, so 24 plus 9, 33 points of 33. damage. 33. Oh, Very wait, nice you, I get it now. <laughs> yeah, crunchy. Yeah, okay, and then my second attack with Hold my on. magical fucking Hold ammunition. On. As you fire, you finally line up the headshot that you've been trying to get. Huh. As the zombie is swinging at Ricky, the shot <laughs> right through the base of its neck, and mm -hmm. the zombie's head <laughs> just plops off. Uh, because it was killed with an, a critical hit, it's undead fortitude does not matter, and that zombie is killed. Nice. Hey, fuck. Okay. Oh um. I can't. I can't see in the cloud, but I know people are in there. I'm going to take a shot at disadvantage. Uh, uh I think roll I have me a d6 for you. Roll a d6. I'm going to use restore balance, and anybody, uh, just negate any advantage or disadvantage. So I'm going to use my reaction for that. So you okay. roll straight. Okay. Still roll me 86. Okay. 
It's a six. <laughs> okay. Okay. I can roll. Yes, roll an attack. Magical ammunition. Okay, it's a straight roll. <laughs> God fucking damn it. 14 to hit. Does not hit anything. Wasted that, it does not hit what you were uh, happened to be aiming at. Uh, any movement? Uh, I, I Bonus action. I mean, my hunter's mark. I think I have to see. So I can't move it this turn. You do have to see a target to yep. put a hunter's so mark on it. I am going to step back. Get back. Okay. This cool. is going to move here. And that's where it's... Nope. Uh, this ghoul is going to... Well, let's get rid of the sky. This ghoul is going to surge out of the fog Ugh. and attack you, Ricky, as it emerges. So as soon as that zombie falls, another undead just... Just straight out of the fog, right into your face. Uh, you did swing reckless, so it has advantage. Uh, that's a 14 to hit. Nope. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I Oh, well, we can't. Bob and weave. Bob and weave. Where did it, where did it come out at? Because all I see are dead. Right here. This one. Right Obviously, here. all I see is dead. Okay, gotcha. You just wanted to help. <laughs> uh, and then this, this zombie. Yes. 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 Good lord. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> this zombie emerges and is going to swing at the polar bear. As it tries to slam it. That's uh, 12 to hit, which is the pair's <laughs> AC. Damn. Poor bear. Uh, that it that takes bear has two, been trucking, though. The bear takes two points of bludgeoning damage. Hooray. Alright. bear's got, like, splashes and blood, but it's still holding on. It's still holding on. Ricky, you're up. It's a red bear now. Um, I'll just look <laughs> at the guy right in front of me who tried to swing at me mm -hmm. and just swing right back. Reckless okay. or not? Uh, I don't think I'm going to do it reckless this time. I'm a little scared. <laughs> That's fair. Uh, being on the front line. After that Appar crit. Yeah. Apparently I'm rolling yeah. natural 20s a lot today. <laughs> mm -hmm. There's, it's just a lot of dice rolling at me. Oof. Oh, boo. Twelve hits a ghoul. Whoa! Hey, Sick bro. Look of serve emotion. <laughs> plus two. So plus 19. Yeah, plus 19. 19. Damn. Of damage. You almost cleave this ghoul in half in one swing. Ah, uh, I'm going to try and finish it off with my second. Go for it. Fuck him up. <laughs> I'm trying to... Find a red bear gift. Nice. And this hits. is what I found. Go ahead and roll. <laughs> I think that's Astra. It has. Yeah, I think you just kill it. I don't think it matters what you roll. Max damage. Ooh. Okay. Jesus, twenty uh, points of damage. On the upswing of your great axe, this this ghoul just <laughs> just splits, and is just meat at, on the floor. Uh, yeah. Well done, you've. You still have a bonus action if you want to use it. Um, no. That'll okay. be my turn. Uh, well. Oh, Star Soldier, come on out. Another Knock zombie emerges. Down. I just want to shoot the leers, but Hang they're on. hiding those bitches. And it's going to try and slam you, Ricky. There's a lot of Drop. meat. There's a lot of chaff in this mixture. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, that's a seven to hit you. Nope. It doesn't. You like just, you just stand there with your axe up, and it like hits the haft of your axe. <laughs> uh, okay. So now this thing's turn. We'll move to here, and that's where it can go. I didn't even know that guy was there. I know. Uh, it's now the Star Soldier's turn. Is anyone else super concerned about this other side of the? Nah. The pipe. No. They're I listen, so there's nothing just over there. Out that hallway. You're right. Ricky assured us there was nothing over there, and I trust her. Yeah. I rolled a big three, so I'm confident. <laughs> Does a 15 hit you, Ricky? Nope. No. You that mithril armor pays for itself. Yeah, that mithril. 
You manage to duck <laughs> as a pike, whoosh, like right over your head from out of the fog. <sighs> At least one of the star soldiers is there. And he's going to try again. Well, where's the guilt trip you gave that guy? Ash is going to intimidate the other side of this combat. Just There's okay. nothing there. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, an 18 to hit. Uh, I will swing at it with my tail. Okay. See if I can. What I do. <laughs> Oh, big wait. three, big three, roll a four. Roll a, roll a d8. Nice. Yes. nice. You yes. deflect the pike. Yes, AJ. All right. Uh, this gas can't move. It'll stay right there. Not staying there. Wrestle with uh, How many... How long... How long does the fog cloud last? A minute or ten minutes? Forever. It doesn't. It's, not it's, it's an hour. Thank you. <laughs> so, six, what, 60? Is that right? No, that's not right. 100 rounds. Is that right? 600. No. Thank you. <laughs> what? No. <laughs> a lot. 360 okay, rounds? 10, 10 rounds is a minute. 10 rounds is a minute. Oh, 60 yes. minutes 60. and an hour. 600. Okay, so is this <laughs> it's. I think we're good though. It's like a thousand <laughs> rounds. Okay, it's it's it's, it's, it's six hundred. It's six hundred. It might as well be infinite rounds. Okay, it's not a concern. Echo, make sure you're counting. I know. Sure I got. I have this handy little encounter <laughs> tracker. That tells me what round it is. I, I'm, I'm just waiting. I'm just count. waiting for Echo to. Here it is. <laughs> How come we we should have a, an account like a turn counter on our side so we know when our spells end. No, you have one. No. Where? Look at the combat oh, tracker. I, I, okay, <laughs> I'm right, Dick. I see it. I'm using Round the same six. tool as Fight. you. <laughs> Jesus Christ! It's now a star soldier's turn. I uh, didn't get enough oxygen when I was born. Apparently not. Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> He throws a poison bag. That douchebag. Oh, fucking guy. He put the uh, bag in. But he bag. throws it blind, and it ends up right here. Oh. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yes, I'm okay. Mm. Ash, I need you to make a con save. It kind of corners us, though. That's not cool. <laughs> ah. 25. Okay. That's great. Voice. You only take half damage. Yeah, you take a uh, half of. Ooh. You take half of twenty-two points of poison damage. Oh, oh that's my temp HP. I'm glad Fun. I finally gotten through it. Don't worry, you've been fucking up that bear. Uh, that's the Star Soldier's turn. It's now this. He's not gonna move. Aaron's turn. Aaron, seeing this poison cloud. She, like, from behind you, you hear her say, Well, shit. <laughs> uh, she just kind of, like, kind of looks to see if there's a way she can see a shot. Can she hit from here? Yeah, it's, it's, she's going to fire a disadvantage because it's outside of her normal range with her little hand crossbow. But she'll give it a shot. Restore and balance. Okay, it becomes a normal shot. <laughs> That's a 18 to hit, which does hit. Um, I gotta use these things sometimes. Snack attack. It, it, and not have me waste them. It does get sneak attack because the polar bears are melee. And it deals 23 points of... Okay. This zombie just... Like... An arrow sinks into its head, and it just slumps on the ground in front of the polar bear. Uh, Aaron just kind of, like, looks over the poison cloud, sees it hit, and just, all right. And then she ducks back. And <laughs> what would be uh, the equivalent of calling someone Tex in Amaranth? I don't I know. I wanted to say good shoot, Tex. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'll the have white to pick is... a region in Saris. Sure. <laughs> T 
text. It's a nickname someone got. It's not the where they're at. Never mind. This white is going to make a longbow attack at disadvantage. Again. Because that's what it can do. It does not want to go into melee. Uh, that's an 11 to hit uh, Ricky, which is not going to hit. Uh, and it will try again. So, out of curiosity, does your balance the scales work for them, too? Restore balance? Yeah. Yes. That would suck. Is but it I a have whole to turn, or now? is it... No, 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 it's a reaction to do it once. When a creature you can see within 60 feet is about to roll a d20 with advantage or disadvantage, you can use your uh, reaction to prevent the roll from being affected by advantage so, and disadvantage. It's not like really an suck. AOE balance of like everything. No, no, the, everything is balanced. No. Okay, then that's a net one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Does that hit one of his friends since he's shooting blind? It's right in front of you, just the gasp, just air on the back of the head. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, I mean, it doesn't have to. I'm just throwing it out. Ask him to roll a no? persuasion echo. If you're okay with allied fire accidentally hitting allies, the nah. only reason I say that yeah. is because you blew up my Eldritch Cannon with a nat one. That was in you rolled campaign, three you natural rolled three ones, in ones in a row. <laughs> but I think that was really the only one. one. Yeah, well, I'm I'm personally I'm okay with there. friendly fire on a natural. I am not if it's reasonable. Uh, I, so, I like like if you're in like if like, you're in a fog cloud together, it makes sense. Yeah, but not uh -huh. if you're like standing next to each other and sh Ricky like swings her axe. Or you wouldn't be firing this way and then end up firing next. So this, you know what I'm let saying? Let me let me point this out. This is a variant rule that I generally choose not to use because PvP is bad, but. If you guys want to be okay with that ones having nah, consequences like that, nah, you're fine. I was just throwing it out. Of the it's got to go both ways. <laughs> I can't just have the monsters hit each other. I That's don't want. True. So I don't want every nat one to be something. It wouldn't be. It's I, if vision is limited and an enemy what, yeah. is near another ally. It's circumstantial. I'm okay with like limited vision and shit like <laughs> that. Yeah, but and like it actually actually has to line up. The situation. The like, the rule is. If a ranged attack is made while blind or in or a target is obscured, a natural one occurs and there is an ally between or around the target and the attacker, there's a chance that that attack will hit the ally. I think that's reasonable. I'm okay with that circumstance. How do you feel about that, Ricky? I'm fine with that. Okay. Personally, I vote against it, but you're uh, outvoted. No, I know. One person votes against it. We we let it be. It's got to be unanimous. Just there as the go. healer, that could that could prove really no, bad for no, me. <laughs> it, it, it's a rule change. It has to be something unanimous. Just We're not gonna overrule. The arrow person. misses, and we move on. Mm -hmm. So now this right ghoul's here. turn. You'll be okay. This ghoul emerges, ah, and it's going to yeah. try and attack. Hold on, I I need to get better at deleting these fucking. Bodies. Okay. <laughs> uh, it's going to attack the polar bear as it emerges. It's going to try to bite the polar bear. It's a seven to hit. Uh, <coughs> it doesn't. Astra, the polar bear's turn. Um, just there's constantly new bodies to slash at. Uh, and so it will. Uh, it brings the claws down on this new ghoul that's appeared. Natural 20. Nice. Uh, okay. As soon as this ghoul appears, <laughs> the claws just slash down onto it, and it is crushed. <laughs> I've never seen Simic roll this good. I never, I don't he never will again. Well uh, Zed, it's your turn. Uh, standing behind Ricky, seeing both of them in the sauce, I'm gonna put a firm hand on Ricky's shoulder, and I'm gonna use my last Fey gift. Uh, you are going to get temp HP, and so am I. Ooh, max roll, nice. A uh, nine temp HP to you. Thank you, Ricky. And I'm gonna stay with that. You might wanna, you might wanna cover your ears, and I'm gonna cast Shatter again. Oh, uh, where? Yeah. Uh, boom, 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 boom. On this. Roll me a D100. Okay. 
D1 Hondo. 13. Wow. Okay. You're really good or really bad. Roll yep. damage. It is going Come to be 12 up. thunder damage. Uh, okay. I think that's exactly half, isn't it? DC 17 con. Yeah, it's half. Okay, hold on. At this point, fucking collapse this tunnel. I'm over it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like the fucking soldiers. Oh. oh yeah. I have oh, to make con saves. Just... Right. DC 17, you said? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so this one's... The two-star soldiers succeed. One fails... And those two fail. Okay. Uh, so, 12 points of thunder damage. Hold on. Let me just... Thunder. Boom, 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 boom. And then six. They're hearing okay. a lot of explosions up above. Thunder. Yeah. As the thunder crashes through all of them, um, you don't see it. But you hear it as many bones seem to just crack. And it's a horrible sound following that shatter. Um, you also hear just more of the... <sighs> Looks like it maybe had an effect. You can't really see. But it did something. Uh, okay. Is that your turn? Uh, that is my turn. Okay. Okay. Uh, this star soldier didn't like that. <laughs> He's going to do something that none of you can see. And it has an effect that none of you can see. <laughs> uh, Ash! Yeah. How you doing, bro? I'm doing, uh, well, not too, too well. I need to get out of this. Yeah. You do. Uh, cloud. So I'm going to go the same direction, right behind the polar bear. Um, is there, is there an enemy here? Or is everybody in the frog, frog cloud? I'm totally fine with this. Okay. Thank you. I'm sorry. Say that again, class. Is there an enemy here? Or is it That's in everything? Okay. Uh, the, the token on top of it is... It shows dead, so I don't know what's there yet. I don't see a dead token. Uh, maybe refresh your screen. Yeah, that's probably refresh. my fault then. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, then I will kind of like jump up onto the ass of the polar bear and aim my weapon, <laughs> at, uh, aim a firebolt at this uh, zombie in front. Okay. Um. And then I will also just kind of passively uh, glance over at Ricky, see how she's doing health-wise. Uh, here is 17 hit. Yeah, that hits. Okay. Uh, Ricky, how are you doing on health? Um, I'm doing just fine, especially with that temp HP I just got. Okay. Keep the bear alive. 12 points of fire damage. The fire <clears throat> slams into the chest of the zombie and it <clears throat> looks mildly bothered. <laughs> just mildly. Okay. Um, at this point, out. I have a uh, free bonus action, so I am going to call for Jasper to zoom on up and help Ricky. Okay. So he does. You have got the benefits of the aid action from a bird, Ricky. Right. <laughs> it trails uh, on your shoulder. Uh, anything else yep. on your turn? Uh, that's it. Okay. Uh, this zombie is going to surge forward <laughs> and it will appear <laughs> being Bottom more up, meat. Knock him down. This one, it looks rattled. Uh, it's it looks as though it probably took a shatter recently. Um, 
It's going to take a swing at you, Ricky. Okay. That's a 16 to hit. No. Well, wait. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> sorry, I was just, I'm sorry. I was just reading about aid. And I got conf- 16 beats no. it, beats it. And I've already used my tail, I believe, so. It does hit you. I feel like the turn started recently. Ricky comes up soon. You take seven points of damage from that slam. Bludgeoning Hab. damage, so you can have it. Have, yep. Okay. Seven, you said. Mm-hmm. Okay. So three. Yep. Joe. Hey. Hey. I'm gonna move over here. What in the stink cloud? She's like, those fucking lieutenants or whatever aren't showing their cowardly faces. What kind of zombies are these? Do they just look like standard zombies? They just look like common undead. She's not going to use her ammunition, her magic ammunition, then she'll just... Oh, she's first going to put a bonus action on the one that looks healthiest. Which one is that? Um... I had to gauge. Uh, this one? Barely. Okay, it looks Hunter's like Mark. Looks like they've gotten a recent <laughs> checkup. <laughs> yeah. Doctors. Well, bonus action Hunter's Mark on that He's one. He's, like, holding up his doctor's note. I have low cholesterol. As you well, I'm going to shoot you in the face for 26 to hit. Yeah, that, that hits. is uh, 11 plus... What? Did you... you <laughs> I placed... said no magic ammunition. You placed your hunter's mark on him. Yeah, that's why I asked which one was lower. Oh, I missed that. I'm sorry. Yeah, we're talking about cholesterol. It's okay. Okay, so you deal 12 points of piercing damage. Yep. It's St- still up. Shoot it again. Okay, go ahead. 15 to hit. Yeah, that hits. Uh, another 11 plus. He's dead. As he collapses, you hear him saying, My wife was proud of me. And he falls down. Well, fuck you. <laughs> so cold. This is a delicious cookie. Um, you're gonna move up. Sorry that I misclicked. I meant to go here. Okay, you move there. Mm-hmm. Uh, all righty then, Ricky. It's your turn, and Ricky, I'd like you to make a perception check. Now that we're in round seven and halfway through it. You smell something, Ricky. Something oh. that is new. Something you didn't smell until just now. As if a breeze suddenly washed down the sewer, coming towards you from behind the fog cloud. You suddenly smell... It smells very acrid. Um, the gelatinous cube had an acidy smell to it. But this smells powerful and more like what you a hint of what you smelled at the gate that was melted through. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So if that were to happen, I'm gonna just like over my shoulder to Zed and Ash, just say I th- something really bad is coming from that direction. <laughs> it stinks. And then, but I'll just turn around, and wave my, or just smack this guy in the face again. Go ahead. I I think I live here now. I just yeah. yeah. This is just <laughs> your life. Yeah, Sisyphusian smacking zombies in the face of my Sisyphusian axe. smacking is a good band name. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I'm I'm going to do it just regular, not... Um, yeah. Do it. Uh, it's not going to do anything. Okay. Or Eve. Wait, maybe. You're disturbing Eve, the princess. Well, she needs to stop. Uh, 13 hits. It does? Yes, it has an AC of 8. Oh, great. So plus 15. two from the rage. Yeah. Sick. Yeah. You Sorry, bring Eve. the axe crashing down on this zombie, and it slumps over. Destroyed. Um, great. Uh, I can't see into this cloud, right? Still no, unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, it, it, so I'm not going to get all the way in it because there's a, something very bad smelling coming from it, but I have a second... I have another ac- action, so I'll just take a step forward and just, I guess, blindly swing my axe into it, just because I know they keep coming from there. 
Okay. Uh, make an attack at disadvantage. Okay. Your natural 20. Sorry. Uh, that will miss. Yeah. Uh, but you do take a swing. Uh, now it is... <coughs> this gas suddenly surges and appears next to you. Uh, and it's going to swing at you. I need you to make a con save as it does. Because it's trying okay. to bite you. If... Oh. oh. Um... I have one. You might want to do that, though. I do have one. Uh, go ahead and re-roll that, Ricky. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. I'm tired I of that lowers, my party. I think that lowers HP. That's better. Do something nasty. You succeed. You resist the stench as the ghast surges forward to try to bite you. But at natural 20s. Oh my god. You were sitting on that, Echo. I... You were like, are they going to use it for the con save, or are they going to regret it when we get to the crit? <clears throat> I didn't want to declare it until she'd made the decision about the con save, which I asked for I before know. I made the attack. I know. Uh, as you get bit, you take 24 points of piercing damage. Ouch. Halved? Halved. Yes. Yeah. Couldn't have happened well, to a better person of the party. <laughs> and that's that could turn. happen to me. I can't. I can't get crit. Okay. Also, you. <laughs> uh, it's now this the Star Soldier's turn, uh, who finds he cannot press forward anymore. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's okay. Um, he's going to make two attacks on you, both at disadvantage. Uh, the first, which is a pike attack, is a 10, which misses. Uh, he'll just make another pike attack. Uh, which is an 11, which misses. Disadvantage is killing him. It's his turn. It's now this gas turn. The gas can't... It sees that... Well, it doesn't see anything. It's just... It has zero hit points. Why is it still in the inish? I'm sorry. Go away. The inish. <laughs> Go away, you dead ghast. Okay, now it's this. Okay, this one's not moving. Uh, this one is going to press forward and is going to attack Whoa. at disadvantage. Is that a uh, poison cloud still up behind us? It is at the moment. Okay. It's been one round. Really? Yes. I it's been longer than that. It's been one round. I threw it on round six. It's round seven. Okay. Uh, that both missed terribly. A 14 and yeah. a natural one. Fog cloud. Uh, this one doesn't move. Aaron's turn. Aaron is going to step down behind this poison cloud. Take a shot at the only undead she can see. Disadvantage from the range, but uh, 10 does not hit a ghast. She curses to herself and then flees back up onto the steps. Uh, this white is going to continue making ranged attacks blindly. <laughs> because why would it do anything different? Okay. Uh, the polar bear takes a hit. For six damage. One moment. And then it will attack again. Doing the same thing. Because that's what it's got. The polar bear gets hit again. 
Astro the Polar Bear takes another five points of piercing damage. And the white stays there. Astro the Polar Bear's turn. It's going to try and deal with the ghast in front of it. Bite and claw. The bite hits. Claws hit. So that's 12 and 10. 22 points of damage to the ghast. It's still standing, but barely. Zed, you're up. Uh, bu 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 bu. I'm going to say to everybody, if something something big's coming, we, we might need a reposition, so get ready for that. And I'm going to just shoot at the last guy that's here. Eldritch Blast. Kaboom. Uh, 21 to hit. Yeah, that hits. 11 force damage. Dead. Yes. And I know she was swinging at something. I will shoot at this one with disadvantage, I guess. Or you want me to roll to see which one I hit? Uh, you can see the one she's swinging at vaguely. Just roll with disadvantage on that one. going to be a 18. Yeah, that hits. Or 10 force damage, and I would like to push it back, if I can. Uh, yep. How far do you push? 10 feet. Okay. You hear the clatter of armor in front of you, Ricky, as something was just shoved forcefully away from you. Um, bu -bu 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 -bu. I'm gonna take my shirt and kind of wrap it across my face and run through this. Okay. Just not breathing. I don't know if that has an effect or if I have to end my turn in it. You have to end your turn for it to affect you. Okay, cool, cool. So, yeah, thematically speaking, I cover my face and I don't breathe. And bonus actions. Ah, uh, that's all I got. Okay. That's all, folks. This soldier is going to push forward and emerge. <clears throat> Finally. As he sees what is happening, uh, he looks at the bear and he's going to make an attack on the bear. Oh, no, bear. He's no longer at disadvantage. Uh, the bit, That's an 18 to hit. Uh, yeah. Astra the polar bear takes... 19 points of piercing damage. Uh, which means that Polar Bear is no longer there. And Astra appears. Taking three points of damage. Uh, and then the soldier will attack again. That's a 25 to hit, Astra. Yeah. Astra takes 13 points of piercing damage. Cutting through the temp HP uh, and wounding her slightly. Oh no. Uh, Ash. You're up. Are you muted again? Mm. <laughs> what do I, oh, what do at I the end of that here? Star Soldier's turn, the gas cloud uh, dissipates. Ooh. I kind of waved my arms to flap it away. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's what happened. Okay. Uh, I am going to... Uh, I'm just, I'm just going to firebolt it. The one that's visible. The soldier? Go for it. Yep. 19. That hit. hits. 13 points of fire damage. Okay. Nice. And I'm going to stay right, right where I'm at. 
Uh, yeah. That's all I Seems can do. Seems like a safe spot. Okay. Joe. Yo. Um, I'm just gonna go down here. She's like, you son of a bitch. Hunter's mark on this one. Okay. Fire at advantage for my first shot. Magic ammunition. 18 to hit. <laughs> Does that just hit? It. The star soldier uses his parry feature and raises the shield to block the ranged attack. Okay. I fire you again. On your first attack. I did roll at advantage. Oh, uh, okay. I fire again with magic ammunition. Go for it. His AC is three higher now. 19 to hit. Oh, sorry, 20 to hit. Uh, that hits. Nice. Meets it, beats it, yes! Fuck me, okay. Damage is... Out oh, fucking time. 16 plus... 4. So, 20 points of damage. Okay. And then she's gonna retreat back up. Alright. Ricky, it's your turn. Man, I'm running out of these bullets. Uh, I don't want to get left out, so I'm going to turn and <laughs> swing my axe at him. Fuck him up. Uh, uh, uh. 17 does not hit right now. Okay, just back with the second attack. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm afraid that hits worse. Yeah. That'll be my turn. Just wave my axe around. <laughs> Wait. You had the help action from Jasper. That's true. To roll it Is it aid? I also get the help in addition to the hit points. So The it's hit not points are from Zed. Yeah, Zed gave you temp. The Bird gives you advantage on your attacks. Okay. So, so that means I, your first hit would be the 17 and the 13. So you can roll, roll again at advantage for your second okay. attack. Dang. I'm afraid that just doesn't hit. And if I have a bonus action up, uh, he would still continue to aid. Okay. Um, Ricky. <laughs> Uh, it's now this soldier's turn. Uh, it's going to move up. Seeing that there's something occurring just in the outside of this fog cloud, it's going to make an attack at disadvantage. That's a natural one. It'll try again. That's a 13 to hit you, Ricky. Okay, that's his turn. Um, this zombie doesn't move. This soldier is going to attack at disadvantage um, mm -hmm. at you, Ricky, because you're the only one in close range. Wow, there's three of them right there. That is terrifying. It's a 15 to hit you, Ricky. Got any more shatters, douche? Nope. I got one second level left. They're we all there. Know. We don't know if this is the last fight, Chief. That's a 16 oh, to hit, no. Ricky. Uh, I will use my reaction, my tail. Okay, it misses. Yep. Uh, back my to the tail. top, Aaron. Aaron is going to dart down around the corner, sees the one that's visible, and she raises her hand crossbow and... Let's see if she hits. You can do that's a natural 19 for a 26. That hits. Nice. Plus oh, Aaron. Crack. That's 8 plus 10, 18 points of piercing damage. Nice. Uh, and as she runs back around the corner, she says, Hit him where it hurts. Um, to you. Where's that? <laughs> no, I'm telling you too. And I'm asking where that is. I don't know, it's dead. <laughs> Though white is going to make attacks at disadvantage. With a long He's doing his best. 
It hasn't taken much. I'm, root I'm rooting for him. Uh, that's a six to hit. Doesn't hit anybody. Uh, that's a 19 to hit Ash. Okay. Aww. Kitty, no. Does that hit you? Yes. Okay, you take uh, 10 points of piercing damage. Ouch. No. You're like looking between Ricky <laughs> and the star soldier trying to see what's going on, and then an arrow just <laughs> right into your clavicle. Uh, he, he hisses and hisses back at at them. Um, just angry that he's gotten hit with an arrow randomly. Sorry, I rolled a d3. It was you. Uh, Astra. Try to intimidate them. Uh, they're not even... It doesn't, they can't even... It, it. it doesn't work. <laughs> you rolled a two. <laughs> you look so cute. So it's, it's more like when the cat goes... And their like, back's really high up. Uh, <laughs> uh, Astra is now... Want to use that flame blade? I'm looking at what Astra can do. So is I. Astra has so much healing. Yeah, and nothing else. She heal Ricky. I'm not looking at her D&D Beyond page. I'm looking at her Foundry page. Um, okay. Yeah, she'll fucking... How how much health are you missing there, Ricky? Uh, I'm below two-thirds, a little above half. She's going to cure wounds you. She's got plenty of these. So, uh, you heal for... Seven. That's something. And then Astra's gonna move here. Uh, she still has a wild shape, according to her resources. Does she she turned, into, two, she turned into a polar bear twice in this okay, fight Okay, then alone. she is out yeah. of them. Yeah. Okay. Zed, you're up. <clears throat> um, uh, Step up to get a better view. Uh, this guy, El Hex. El Hexo. No, 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 no. Fuck that Hex. I'm gonna Eldritch Blast. <laughs> okay. For uh, first one is a 24. That hits. Or 10 force damage. Okay. That soldier is Second barely one. alive. Get him. Oh. Kill him. For a 15. 15 does not That's hit. That's good. Oh, um, you know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna use my last two sorcery points, and I'm gonna quicken. Okay. And shoot two more. So first one, uh, that person. That's uh -huh. a roughie. No that good. Cannot hit. I'm Yikes. afraid. Second roll, natural twenty. Yes, and this is a twenty-two. Okay, that's good too. Yeah, that hits. Four, eight force damage. He dies. Yes. Yes. That's all I wanted. Like, <laughs> uh, I'm running out of everything. I still got some stuff left, left. And I am going to. You know what? You're gonna Fuck get it. up I'm in here. there. Um. Yeah. Nobody listens Zeddy, to me when I said we should. Man. Re I said we should reposition, and I'm the only I mean, one who bitch, moved. I'm up even here. The, even the cat didn't move. <laughs> <laughs> I. I didn't move for a reason. I'm I can't move do... for feline agility. Oh, okay. I'm gonna go there. Okay. That's yeah, you go there. Hold the wall. We're gonna let him filter out again. Until this big thing comes fucking barging in on this turn right now as soon as I walk over. Ah, we'll see what happens. Is that your turn? That's my turn. Okay. Ash, you're up. Okay. Um... Trash. What do I do here? A. Okay. That was mean. All right. So, uh, I cannot move for a round for feline agility, giving me sixty speed. So I kind of imagine the feline agility is like when those cats like crouch low and You're like powering butt, up for the zoomies. Uh, yeah, but yep, yeah, butt wiggle. Uh, <laughs> just, yeah, exactly. Uh, so he's gonna dash uh, ten feet up to behind Ricky. Mm -hmm. um, combat Medicare. 
Okay, roll uh, um, medicine at disadvantage. Yep. Well, you get 11 hit points. I rolled Ooh. a 2 and a 1. Uh -huh. Okay. But uh, it's totally fine. It's still above a 10. Yep. Uh, and then... You have uh, a high enough medicine score that you cannot... Fail. Fuck it up. Yeah. Which is good, because uh, it's bad uh, if you do. Never in heart Yeah. And then uh, he's going to dart back. Hitty dash. Yep. Meow. So he, like, wound up, like fucking sonic and then just like darts up yep. to you band-aid and runs away <laughs> yep exactly what pen posted in the chat just just that oh my god <laughs> <laughs> all right good turn joe you're up yo god damn it they're not visible um she's gonna go down nice. um <laughs> She can't see anybody. Correct. <laughs> so she, she's just going to fire. Roll an attack at disadvantage. And she's not going to use her magic ammunition because she's not going to waste it on something that will probably miss. But she might as well fire instead of not fire. Damn it. One of those was a natural 20. 14 uh, to hit. 14. <laughs> Doesn't hit anything. Thanks. Firing again. 20. Is my lower end. Okay, roll me a d2. Okay. The... Okay. 1d2. There it is. Two. Roll damage. Damblage. Nine. Okay, something gets hit. And because I didn't use my bonus action to do Hunter's Mark, I think I can use it to shoot again. Uh huh. Uh, without your proficiency. Without your bonus. proficiency. So this is minus three. Yep. Go ahead and roll an attack at disadvantage. At disadvantage. Yep. Damn. Natural one. <laughs> Good thing we didn't stick with that rule, guys, or I would have shot one of you. All right. Roll me a d20. <laughs> what? Roll me a d20. <laughs> oh, uh, we did. Okay. Four. Your gun does not jam. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Ricky, you're up. Oh, and I back um, up. Let's see. I can't see the person in front of me, I'm assuming. You have an idea they're there. You just cannot get an accurate swing on them. Okay, but I'm getting the help action from mm -hmm. Jasper. So, it's a so I will just, yeah, chop straight down in front of it. me. Let gravity do the work. You might hit something. Go ahead and roll an attack. Yes. Okay. Uh, 23. There you go. 23 certainly hits. Go ahead and roll damage. Plus two. Yep. So 11 points of slashing damage to this target. Okay. Yeah, you feel your axe cut into something hard. Man, that felt great, so I'm just going to do it again. Okay, roll an attack. Uh, 16 doesn't see the attack coming, so he can't use his reaction. He hit. You hit. <laughs> oh, Have damn it. Point the damage. Uh, you slay something. <laughs> yeah, you I'll feel that a body. Shoulder. I killed something. You f a I body slumps to the ground, and you feel it give way under the weight of your axe. That's my turn. What are, okay. what are you damn it in class? I, it, it was on an 11 and then just slowly rolled to a ah, 9. <laughs> uh, Still worked out. This, this zombie doesn't move. This one. Uh, this one. This He's going to make an attack at you uh, at disadvantage. He's not coming out. There is space here. No, he's not coming out. Yeah, smart man. <laughs> uh, that is a I can't see 17 you, but you can't see me. Tail. Is that, it hit me? Yeah. It's it, I'm going to use yeah. the tail. Okay. So I will Shoot. roll this just in case I roll a one. 
Oops. You did not. Did you not. block it. No shot. He will swing again. The pike comes lashing out once more. That is a 20 to hit. Oh. Yep. Got me. Uh, that is 13 points of piercing damage. See you, Ricky. Okay. Uh, that's his yep. turn. Uh, somebody's move. Aaron's turn. Uh, Aaron darts down. He's nothing. <laughs> she will stay here and hold an action in case something reveals itself. Uh, this white is going to make an attack at disadvantage. <laughs> He's still back there. He's still here. Doesn't hit anything. He'll try again. An arrow pit flits right past your face, Zed. Ugh. And that misses. Okay, Astra's turn. Uh, Astra. What do you got for me? She will cast Create Bonfire. Right Ooh. here. And as such, I will require a deck save. Do they have from... disadvantage because they can't see it? No, it's a fire. <laughs> they can see it as it emerges from their feet. Um, <laughs> oh, he succeeds. So he manages to move just enough that it doesn't do any damage to him. Uh, that's her turn. There is now flames that are flickering inside the fog cloud. Uh... It looks interesting. Zed, your turn. Uh, I'm gonna do. Actually, no. I was gonna say. Oh, what you say? I was gonna see if like I was keeping track because I saw how many there were roughly before I fog clouded. Yeah. I, I was gonna just do like an intelligence roll to see if I knew how many, but I I think some of them came out while there, and I have meta knowledge, so I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna take out my flail that what? you guys have never seen me use that's been <laughs> on my hip this whole time. I thought it was when just did, show. <clears throat> when when did he pick up a flail? I thought that was just decorative. Uh, well, no, this bad boy's seen its uses, and I'm gonna swing it and do a booming blade if it hit. Oh yeah. Okay, go ahead. Blooming blade. You are attacking a disadvantage with it. Oh, I'm not hitting then. Fourteen. Oh, okay. Yeah. Ten. You don't hit. Even worse. <laughs> you like lash you swear the shadows <laughs> from the bonfire cast the light in a way that you know that star soldier is like right here. And you just whoo nothing. Just goes to the fog. <laughs> oh that was a big flail. Boo. Um, um, say that. Um. <laughs> Ash, it's your turn. Uh, everybody take second damage. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 wait, wait, wait. You got a bonus I action for me? To... I don't. Just gonna flee. Okay, you run away. I'm gonna say we don't know what that what that big thing was, so let's let's reposition, and I'm gonna move. He's back. gonna try a second time to get us he, to reposition. Okay, so you were in melee with an intelligent creature. He's gonna make an yeah. attack at disadvantage. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 18 is my AC. With disadvantage, that's a 23 to hit you. Holy shit. Uh, that will hit me. Yes. Uh, okay. Zed, you take 16 points of piercing damage. My god. Oh, damn. Jesus. I gotta make a con save. Okay. Uh, well, the I'll wait. The falls and we see this gigantic thing. Yeah, that's I'll wait. Okay. Yeah, it's uh, cool. So as soon as he leaves, and I see this uh, big old pike slash out at him from the fog cloud, I'll aim a firebolt at that in that okay. general direction. Roll a spell attack uh, at disadvantage. Damn it! Uh, it was an eighteen and a two. Damn. <laughs> uh, is that misses? Um, yeah. I'm gonna say this burns Aaron's reaction. She sees you hurl that fireball that spot, and she's like, "See something there?" And she will just. Loose an arrow at disadvantage. Uh, okay. With her held action. Maybe one of us will hit. Nope. That's a nine. <laughs> this this guy's holding out strong. He sure isn't. <laughs> yeah. 
All right, Ash, uh, any bonus action uh, movement? Uh, bonus action, he uh, continues, Jasper continues to aid uh, Ricky, uh, but uh, he's going to yell out, Come out, you you coward! You hear. And that's it. <sighs> yeah, you, you convinced him, Ash. Joe. Yep. He's going to step down. Seven charisma. Fire again. <laughs> Disadvantage. Go no ahead. magic ammunition because I'm not wasting it. No. Twelve. Twelve doesn't hit anything. Fire again. Wait. You rolled a two on the die. Roll me a d20. <laughs> two. Okay. Your gun doesn't do. Great. Fire again. Go ahead. You don't want a high roll on that Correct. one. I don't want a high roll. 16 I rolled or a, higher. I rolled a three on the die. Roll me a d20. <laughs> Watch me break my fucking gun. Low, 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 low. 11? Doesn't jam. Last roll, last roll without proficiency, so this okay. is minus three. You are just... <laughs> into this vague, shadowy shape. 16? 16. Oh, it's a 19. Minus oh, three no, because it's just... my bonus action shot. 16 just hits. Yep. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> I'm gonna hit one of these! <laughs> I just imagine it. I, like the old, old Wild West movies just... <laughs> just 16 points of damage on a blind fire! Yeah, <laughs> but it's a rifle. Uh, yeah. Uh, the Did I Holder kill him? Slumps out of the smoke. Fuck. <laughs> complete he blind shot. He had 7 shot. hit points. <gasps> <laughs> That's when he was like, nice. he's holding on strong. I was like, not really. He's I got him, guys. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, that's everything you got, I think. She's going to just creep up, so she's not Ricky. exposed. What do you do? Uh, okay, so I can see in there enough to know that I don't see anybody right in front of me, right? There's a little it's fire It's blind. Right here. You can't see shit. Unfortunately, you well, can't I mean, see anything. It, it, well, even if I, I'm, am I? So it's technically a, heavily sub obscured, so you can't see anything in there. Like the vision we had on them, um, was yeah. not. We weren't supposed to have that vision. Yeah, okay, I had cool. a mod that made it so you couldn't see in there, but it's gone now. So okay, <laughs> got it. Um, so I guess if I'm if I'm role playing this. Ricky would just swing in case there was anybody in there. Okay. You swing, there's so, nothing that you don't even have to roll an attack. There's yeah. nothing to hit. So if I swing and there's nothing there, I'm going to listen to Zed in retreat. Ooh. Okay. Back up some. Alright. That'll be my turn. Oh. Aaron's turn. Aaron, like, is holding the hand crossbow up. Uh, she's holding an action to make an attack on something. The white <laughs> in the fog cloud makes a longbow attack at disadvantage. <laughs> the last man standing that we know of. It's Astra. <laughs> Astra doesn't have much world. AC. Uh, hold on. She's her AC's better than mine. I can't see it. Uh, that's a natural one, so it doesn't matter. And then a uh, nine, so the white misses both attacks. One moment, please. As he puts the next massive thing on the board. No, I have to pull up. Oh my god. Oh, we're doing this. Can I roll an intelligence check now to see if I've been counting how many are dead and how many I, I saw in there? Why don't you roll it? a perception check? Okay. Instead. Can we all see if do you that? Can all of you can roll me a perception check. Five. Pretty sure there's like seven left in there. Oh, shit. I rolled a 14. Okay. One moment. Oh, it's not connected anymore. Oh, it rolled. Yeah, it rolled. 
see me counting on my hands. I don't see it. Trust me. I do. Maybe you need to refresh your screen again. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so. Uh. Alright. As you stop and just listen for a second, before, when the fog cloud was filled with teeming hordes of undead and the soldiers giving orders and zombies and ghouls and ghasts clambering over each other to get to you, it was it was a cacophony. But now, all you hear are the scrapes of metal and shambling of a single white as it draws another arrow. I drop fog cloud. <laughs> okay. The guy's like, Whoa. The fog cloud drops. Uh, and you just see one lone white, like, kind of shakily, just because its bones and joints are so deteriorated, raising the bow to take another shot. Uh, and this will trigger Aaron's held action. Yes. I don't see it on the screen, but it might just be angles. It's angles. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Aaron rolled a 25 to hit, which certainly hits, dealing 9 points of damage. Uh, but the white already took its attacks at disadvantage, so it's Astra's turn. Uh, now that I see what Astra has, conveniently. Throw a good berry out. But no, don't! It'll heal! Well, maybe. <laughs> I don't know if Undead can heal <laughs> Uh. Now Astra just creates a bonfire at its feet. <laughs> Aww. Instant bonfire. So. And I need a deck save from the white. DC 16. When you said throw a good berry at it, I was thinking about this. Just <laughs> Uh, the white roll the seven, so that fails. The white takes ten points of fire damage. Nice. Uh, Zed, it's your turn. I don't see anything, so I'm going. Yep, I see things. Uh, Eldritch Blast. Oh, yeah. your spell attack. Uh, thirteen. Uh, that doesn't hit. Next one. <laughs> a lot. 26. Yeah, that hits. Cool. Oh, 11 force damage. 11. Okay. Alright. You and slam I'm, it. I'm gonna move back and uh, I'm gonna say finish him off and let's regroup. Ash. My turn. Okay. Um, uh, well, another cartridge and a, and pear a gun. <laughs> Yo, exactly. You hit it on the head. Natural 20. Uh, okay. So How do you want to is... do this? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I want to roll the damage. Roll the damage. <laughs> okay. Well, that was shit, but it's 26. <laughs> Yeah. How do you want to do this? Uh, so, as it's lining up another shot with its longbow, uh, the firebolt shoots right down the arrow that it has knocked, and it kind of just spreads over its entire bodies, and, and it burns to the ground. Oh, yeah. Almost as if in defiance as the flames burn it from the inside out, the white continues drawing the bow back. And just the tension of the bow alone, as the flames lick up the joints, the bow just <laughs> cracks into itself, and it slumps onto the ground in a pile Hell of yeah. ash and bones. Ah, from the fire. Uh -huh. <laughs> and that is the end of this combat. Where are we grouping? <sighs> Fuck. I could, uh, see if anybody needs to be tended to. Didn't Ricky say something else was coming? Yep, I'm gonna go check it out. I, um, I'm gonna tell you it smelled bad that way. I'm gonna gonna go and you got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm fine. Astra, pull back. Let's regroup in the by the end exit in case something ambushes us. 
Echo, can I stealth to try to get a peek around this corner here? Sure. Roll stealth. Ten. It's fine. I'm real sneaky, guys. Splish, splosh through the poop. Yeah, uh, it is hard to be quiet. Um, when you look around the corner, you do see a couple of undead at the far end of the hall to your right. They're just standing there. One of them is, is like, looking directly in your direction, and it's just... I, I like, wave. Just standing there. It doesn't wave back. What is... So, does, do I see something here? Roll me a perception. Twenty one. Pull Master back in case something happens. Me. Yes. With a twenty one, you you just catch it. It's like it's a distortion in the air. Um, it's as though you're looking through a single patch of high winds going upward. But like create a barrier. Mm hmm. Feasibly. <laughs> I'm gonna look back because Astra's still just enough that she's within sight of me. Um, and I'm gonna say to her, I see someone dead, but they're not moving. They don't seem to realize I'm in there. Astra relays the information. Mm. Should I keep going? They're not I'm responding to me. Close. It's gonna chain. Ricky, if you wanna come up with me. Uh, Sharon, hold the back. What do you see? I'm kind of whispering. It's like a barrier of wind or something. Magic, obviously. But they don't seem to, like, I can see through it and it doesn't look like, like, they're looking at me but they're not responding. They know you're there. Maybe. They're, oh. doing, they're doing something. They're trying to buy time. Do we still, is that smell still there? That I smelled earlier? It's not getting stronger. It's not getting weaker. It's just here. Okay. Fuck. I almost wish they'd run down that hallway at us. Be easier to take care of. That's predictable. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They're doing something, and it seems like they need time. I think we need to get a closer look. Yeah. How about this? Joe will take... Try to, try to bait them. Bait them? Like, throw something? Anything. Just get their attention, see if they advance towards us. Can I pick fall. up a rock and, like, huck it to, like, hit the barrier or hit it? Yeah, sure. No, I got it. For that? And they don't, get dexterity. And they don't no, advance. You can just throw a rock at the barrier. You, when you, you watch as it, as soon as it gets to the barrier, it is flung straight up into the ceiling. Air, something like that. I can What's try to, I can try to send Jasper if you want me to. He'll just or, get shot up into the ceiling. He may not. Does it look like it, it keeps going, or does it hit like an obvious ceiling? It hits then, the like, roof of the away. sewer and like yeah. turns to dust it's, from how hard it is. It's the very, ceiling. it's powerful. It's if you want to lose your bird, be my guest, but I don't recommend. I What's, can make another. What's the undead's reactions? They don't. Did they? Nothing. Nothing. Not they prepared. basically like the one closer. Kind of just didn't seem to care at all that that happened. I'm gonna walk out. I mean, we just flung a an inanimate object at this barrier. Jasper, go ahead, Ash. If you want to lose your fucking bird. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'll send Jasper up to the wall. Okay. I wave. And uh, he'll just kind of, like, stick his beak into the barrier. Roll me a strength saving throw for your homunculus. Oh, boy. Oh, ten. What, how many hit points does Jasper have? Five. Yeah, he... As soon as the beak enters the wind wall... You watch as the bird is launched upward and spinning because just the beak was in the wind. As soon as it touches it, 
uh, and it takes more damage than your homunculus can handle, and it just... Oh. This is Joe's expression. Well, then... I'm as inconsolable as the cake. It's 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 okay, Ricky. It's fine. I can he can come. I can make him again. It's fine. It's, it's, it's like so, it was really he, helpful. <laughs> I love how Ricky's more upset than Ash is. <laughs> Zed, Ash, can either of you dispel magic, or are we gonna have to find another way around? I cannot. Okay. Astra comments that she can tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Echo, Astra yes. has that face step thing, right? Where she could teleport somebody over. She's an Aladrin. Let's see. Because I'm pretty sure she yep, did that. She can, you, she can do it two more times. Okay. And just wait for my leave. We might need two of us to go through this. See what we can do. I'm yeah, but we might be trapped on the other side. I'm gonna figure this out. I'm gonna just slowly walk up. I mean, there's another direction. Until I get a reaction out of them. One of them sees you, and it just... Like, it looks angry, but it doesn't move toward you. Do I know if undead take psychic damage? Yeah, they do. I'm gonna cast Mind Sliver on this one. <laughs> okay. Was it a wisdom save? Like shooting fish in a barrel. Uh, int save, 17. Okay, it has a minus 4. It rolled a 19 uh, for a 16. Should be, should be 2d6. 15. I don't know why I clicked one. Okay, so it takes 11 points of psychic damage. <laughs> you just kill it again. It again. Do it again. <laughs> you can just keep. You can just kill her like this. Uh -huh. uh -huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now do the next I'll one. Just... Oh, yeah, do the next one. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You take a few moments uh, while he's doing <laughs> that. To zombies. Shot. What is everybody else doing? Just watching um, amused. Like Ash is actually going to keep an eye out for the other direction. It's quite obvious we can't go through that wind wall. That's what I uh, said. Without taking... you're burden it. <laughs> I had a theory that quite obvious. You, may... you... you threw an inanimate object. I it... Never mind. Whatever. <laughs> As he's eating cake. Uh... <laughs> well, I'm going to uh, do that. I'm gonna yeah, he's going to take... Oh, go ahead. <laughs> He's going to take a listen down the other direction. Okay, roll perception. That's really good. 26. Yeah, you hear above the water and everything else, you hear a... Uh... Is that what the cube sounded like? Yes. Hey, everybody, Great. heads up. There might be another cube coming from the other direction. It's not getting louder. Or there is another cube to, from the other direction. Well, this is all we can do up here, Zed. We might as well find another way. I mean, I, I can get over this, and I know Astra could bring one, but I don't want to split us up. Exactly. How about, she's going to go to Aaron and say... Can you go back out out of the sewer and let uh, whatever his fucking name was know that the we think we took care of the biggest part of the problem, but there's still something going on down here. Sergeant Teddy. Yes. Yeah. The the toothy guy. She leaves. Oh. Uh, All right, down here. You can scope it out. Uh feel like we're missing an opportunity here. <laughs> They're blocking us off for a reason. I agree, but there might this might just be a, a, a wrap around. Mm. Just let us try our options first. Yep. I'm gonna keep an eye on this sector. Just don't Joe's don't gonna contact. move quietly. Roll stealth. Down to there. Stealth. Hopefully it's better than the last time. It is. I rolled a dirty twenty. Okay. Uh, hold on. I don't think... 
Okay, don't worry about it. Uh, all right. Uh, what you look? Peek? Roll perception. Sixteen. Seven. Sorry, seventeen. Seventeen. Yeah, you see two translucent gelatinous cubes. That's just vibing. One of them is moving very slowly down this way. Uh, the other one, it's not moving. Uh, with your high perception, you see that there is a something shiny on the ground beneath it. You see it looks like a, a breastplate or the chest cuirass from maybe a half-plate suit of armor, but it is polished to a sheen, and that gelatinous cube is just right on top of it. He's going to look back at the group and mouth the treasure. <laughs> I want to go through this one wall. We know that. <laughs> no, I said that over the table. Okay. I and that was like me. It. You're allowed to have your own decisions and you will deal with those consequences. Continue doing what you're doing. <laughs> I, lost my, I lost contact with you guys, though. Oh, there you go. Yeah, we're just right down here. She's gonna sp sprint here, because she doesn't think it's noticed her. Roll stealth. Dirty 20. Okay. Uh, it doesn't seem to notice you. When she sees Ash and Ricky over here, she's gonna point at the cube towards the shiny thing inside it. And give the thumbs up whatever it is she wants it ash just kind of like looks at you with brows furrowed and he's just like what why <laughs> <laughs> what do you want of us to do uh, i need ash and ricky to make a stealth roll please uh i made one earlier it was a 21 but i'll make uh, another, I need one. another one you're in line of sight now that's uh, true uh 16 They're just standing in the middle of the hallway like <laughs> utilize those corners Okay. Uh, the gelatinous cube seems completely distracted and does not notice you. It doesn't really have a face. Like, it doesn't. You don't know what direction it's facing. <laughs> it was going to strafe this way. What does she see right here? That is a ladder up to a grate that leads to the street. Ah. <laughs> you could leave. <laughs> Peace. <laughs> She's gonna come back up. <laughs> uh, so each of these you see on the map, there are these uh, circles of light. Mm -hmm. Those, Those are, are grates from the street down. Mm -hmm. So you can, there is some illumination down here. Yeah, she's gonna come back this way. Oh. One, it oh. actually kind of looks like this. Ah. Oh, cool. Hold on, it's still loading for me. There it is. Ooh, stinky. Uh, this is what the sewers look like. Uh, Wait. I just had an idea. Uh, Ash goes to run towards one of the star soldiers. And for the first time, he's oh, we should probably look... loot those. Yeah, we're going <laughs> to loot the bodies. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, just for anything. Um, Roll investigation. If someone could help me. I ain't good at that. You're the smart one. Uh, okay. Actually, 19. I'm not that bad at it. She'll do this one next to you. I want to do something after this. That's Is fine. it go through the wall? No. <laughs> Bull bullshit. With a 19 yeah. investigation, Ash, uh, go ahead and roll investigation as well, Joe. From this soldier, uh, which one are you looking at, Ash? This one? Yeah, I'll look at this one. Okay, you find a chain shirt. Um, you find a shield. You find a pike. Um, you find one poison bag. Um, oh. You find a totem. Uh... It bears a seven-pointed star. Or no, I'm, I'm sorry. That's the wrong 
lore. You, it has a four-pointed star, and you recognize it as the symbol for the followers of the star. Okay. Uh, Joe, you find this the, one. Ooh, uh, you don't find bag. a poison. You don't find a poison bag. Aw. <laughs> that one you used his. Uh, well, I am keeping the poison bag. <laughs> Super effective uh, on Dead Eye here. I think he's being sarcastic. <laughs> All right, what do you what do you want to do? Well, we have these totems. I wasn't talking yep. to you. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking to Zed. Okay, rude. <laughs> yes. I take my flail out and I put it into the wind wall. I just want to see how strong this is. Put a this is a, this is a bomb into the roll wind me, wall. Yeah. Roll me a strength yeah. save. It's going to come yeah. back and clock you. <laughs> it's entirely possible. Ten. Ten. <laughs> yeah, so... You weren't expecting the amount of force <laughs> that suddenly whips at this flail. And the thing about flails is it's a handle with a spiky ball on a chain <laughs> that yep. is loose and can move. Um, and as soon as you push it into the wind wall, the wind catches that spiked ball, and you feel the flail almost get thrown out of your hand. You instinctively hold on to it, and the spiky ball whoop, poof, slams into your shoulder. Uh, and you take eight points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. Joe's That's like, I, I can't... I do not know how to describe how powerful this wall is to these people that they will stop drying this stuff. Well, I mean, uh, fucking burn. I can see. I wanted to at least put the flail in before I jumped through it. Zed, you are, like, atrophied physically. Like, your muscles? <laughs> mm. <laughs> what? Muscle. Pretty damn wasn't, close. wasn't there another star soldier amongst these? It's just yeah, there were yes. three of them. I, just, I deleted them so that they wouldn't be in the way. There were three, yes. Uh, I get. Do I need another roll for the third one? No, we can take the investigation from that. Um, the third one doesn't have a pike. The third one has oh, a long sword. Do they have a stink bag? Okay. Yes, they have one poison bag. You have two stink bags. Okay. Against undead. I will put that in. It also. Yeah, well, we'll not always be fighting undead. Just most of the time. It also has a black obsidian stone with runes on it. Ooh, oh, spooky. Uh, hold on. This might be promising. Wait uh, a second. Uh, Who has hey. the dispelling rod that was on Razgar? Somebody know. is supposed to have it. Maybe class. I don't think so. Well, well somebody was supposed to take I feel it. Like you would be the one to have it. What? Not, Not Ricky. Ricky. No. Ash. <laughs> yeah, it would definitely be Ash. No, I didn't. Uh, I don't remember anything well, like that. On Razgar. Or you, Joe. Either or. One of it was not me. The spelling ra- <laughs> I'm it wasn't just me. saying for the moment being somebody should have a dispel rod. It makes sense in the artificer's hands. He technically flavorfully doesn't even use magic. This is true. Uh, hey, so we're just uh, gonna say we don't have it. No, we can say we have it. Oh, Joe, you have a rod on you. Okay, fuck me. <laughs> Not with the rod. <laughs> Spell. I no longer have a vagina. <laughs> oh Jesus! <laughs> you guys started weird. it. All right. <laughs> Always does when I'm involved. Uh, this is recorded. Uh, just a reminder. I've said worse. It's true. So you <laughs> have this rod that was Rasgar's. What is it? I can't find it. The dispelling um, rod that I, it took won't off. show up. It's not a. It's real not a real thing. item. It, it's a. Okay. Hold up. Hey, is that? Hmm. Uh. Come take a look at this thing with me. Uh, found it off one of the soldiers. It's basically a wand of the spell magic. Yeah. It's a one time use. Let, let me take it out. She'll hand it to Come you. Look at it. Yeah, the obsidian uh, rock. 
with runes on it. Um, this isn't really my forte. I could I could right. take a look. I guess I Just... look at the rock. Okay, <laughs> roll Arcana. I'm gonna I'm gonna roll with. Him. Oh, I, I'm proficient in Arcana. That's, That's... not good. It's not. Oh, <laughs> well, that's that's better. With a natural twenty, Ash, you don't know why you asked Zed because you know this is uh, a communication. <laughs> you just wanted story. to make him feel useful. Listen, we can make prank help calls. Help it's you a know this is it's a receiving end of a communication stone. We can oh. get crank calls. Huh. Uh, Zed, actually, it appears to be a magic uh, rock. <laughs> it's definitely, definitely, probably magic. Well, uh, I just noticed this rune means that it can receive messages okay. from some place else. You want to talk to them? Uh, we receive can't talk messages. to them. We can receive them. Strictly receive? Okay. So. They're a uh, might, catcher, not a pitcher. Might yeah. might be useful for us in the future to hear what they have to send there. Uh, we got to do, do something it? about this wall. Yeah. Am <laughs> I using the rod on yeah. the wall? Is All that right. what you I, I give I give Zed the uh, communication stone. You got a rod? What are you talking about, Joe? <sighs> I'm gonna kill myself. <laughs> yes, seems, I have a rod. That seems awful drastic. As Aaron is back. Uh, what they say. <laughs> Uh, keep at it. They're handling yeah. some shit upstairs. Yeah, making <laughs> sandwiches right. a bit. All right, I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use the rod on the wall. Is is that what consensus? Um, what does it do? It dispels magic. That'd probably been useful uh, about a minute or two ago when we saw this magic wall. So I didn't have to lose Jasper. You're saying uh, no one <laughs> fucking made you do that. No, no I'm, 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 I'm gonna use I'm, the rod I'm, on the fucking wall. <laughs> <laughs> or I Ash, get an ulcer. So Ash you hold, laughs. You hold the purging rod up to the wind wall. Uh, you don't really know what you're doing, but you don't have to. As the that's every time I fire my gun, that's what's up. The enchantment on the purging rod expends itself. The purging rod suddenly feels very cold to the touch, as you're pretty sure it's now just a mundane iron bar. The wind wall disappears. Huh. So you oh. tell me you had this on you the whole time. She just gives him the finger, starts walking. <laughs> Ash laughs. Just <laughs> trying to be quiet now? See. For my sanity? Oh, Ash, yes. You could, you could shoot me in the ass with one of those needles. Uh, Ricky, make sure you oh. move your token to keep up. Uh, I will combat medic you. Either or. But I'll... Is it ten minutes? I have to take my time. If or yeah, if minute. you're taking your time, it's ten minutes. If you're doing it in a rush, it's, it's an minute. action. I'll just, I'll just oh, rush it. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Sixteen. Nice. Healing's That's beautiful. That's yeah, I was gonna. And I can't do that way. again. Ooh. You're good. That's what I needed. It's a little pocket here. Anything in this pocket? Steps up to the surface. All right. No, she keeps going. We're going quietly. Roll stealth. Yeah, stealth. Shelf. Everybody I haven't rolled stealth. a seven. I haven't rolled over a four in like the last nine rolls. <laughs> yeah. These things happen. You say ow when he sticks you in the butt with the needle. Oh, shit. I'm just bickering out at you that you had this rod the whole time and we wasted like a minute of our lives. It's for you, buddy. Oh. I'm kind of loud. <laughs> <laughs> I am a fool. Okay. I have been using the wrong Aaron line token. There we go. Why aren't you tokenized? Foundry. Mm. <laughs> Franco's getting upset. No, upset. He has some spaghetti. I would love some spaghetti. There we I'll go. Touch my spaghetti. Jesus.
She puts her hand up. But she knows that uh, our quietness was not stellar, but she points because there's a drift globe here and the foot of somebody. Oh, oh man. man. So, first, not a drift globe. Oh, a light ball. It is a representation of something. What you see is what looks like one of the commanders is standing, head tilted down, his hands are open, and out in his outstretched hands, this orb of energy is floating and slowly getting larger. Uh, what was your stealth? Ricky? Uh, not, uh, not Ricky, yeah. Or... Uh, Okay. <laughs> I'm jumping in puddles. Yeah. <laughs> splash. I rolled a 14. Uh, uh, hold on. None of us rolled very well. No. I mean, I rolled a 16. Oh, am I none the highest? Of us rolled. Am I? Oh, wow. Aster rolled a natural 20. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. This The captain doesn't open his eyes or look up at you. But he does say to you, <sighs> took you all a while. Can't even see him. Hunter's mark. I had to... <laughs> Doesn't work. I had to take, I had to take out a few of your my last spell little spot. lackeys. Mm, doesn't seem to do anything. Like, Is you feel... right here? Is it what a wall? It's a it's down. a ledge. It's a, it's a drop down. Down or up? Down. Down. He's in a pool. Yeah. Mm. yeah. It took us a while to get through all those lackeys you had, but uh, we're here now. They did their job. Bought you the time you needed, huh? Yes. Why are we still talking? She's had her rifle out. Yeah. Yeah, I'm firing. <laughs> and he I says, before, I... before you shoot, he's huh? like, he just holds a hand I was up. Ask. Uh, what do you ask? No, I'm asking you. What, so this just looks like a ball of energy that's growing yeah. in his hand. Mm -hmm. uh, I need everybody to roll me a perception check at disadvantage, please. Great. I'm going to. I rolled really well. Damn. Two 16s for a 23 total. Damn it. 18 and I a rolled one. really bad. All right, so, Joe, eight, eight, you eight. said you were moving up to shoot. Put your token where you moved to. Well, dead fucking stepped in front of me. Rude. Yeah, dead in front of you. Okay. Here you go. Uh, okay. Ash with an 8. Joe with a 23. Ricky with an 8. Okay. Uh, Astra should be right right here. Everyone rolled an eight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. As you step up and raise your rifle, the captain, whose hands are outstretched, he holds one of them up and says, You might want to save that. And wow. then with that, <laughs> you can take a shot. You're going to. Roll an attack. Fuck this guy. You don't um, want to. Okay. Go ahead. Shoot. No. Joe has no respect for the undead. 25 to hit. You hit something. Roll damage. Sixteen. Joe, you take 16 points of piercing damage. You back. As you fire, the glowing orb glows green, and all of you watch the projectile stop right over the orb and then fly straight back at Joe. Jesus. Ricky was getting the like that second that second bomb I had out, and when that happens, I just slowly <laughs> back. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna put my hands out. Everybody. Take take a step. 
Flash works here. Like, no, I, I walk up. <clears throat> so, uh... What is it you're doing here in our base? Kind of rude to come unannounced, don't you think? Lots of energy acts weird around this Coriolis. Maybe, I noticed. Maybe be careful. That same okay. rule doesn't apply for, for my friend, though. And Joe, with that 23 in perception, you see on the ceiling above you, about 20 feet huh. up, a black swirling mass that oh, is no, getting ready putting. to drop. Can I dive out of the way? Uh, I need an initiative roll from everybody. One moment, please. Oh, it's mine plus eight. I gotta roll eight on top. Uh, 15. so Zed, it's, it's not actually above Joe. It's above you. I got a... Yep. I got a dirty 20. I have Gift of Alacrity. Okay. So the way this fight starts, Zed, is I need a deck save from you. Mm-hmm. Come on. A uh, 14. Fourteen. Uh, hold on. I think that mostly succeeds. <laughs> I'll take mostly. Let I can work see. with mostly. Let me see. Yeah, that succeeds. Uh, okay. So, a black pudding on the ground right next to you, Zed. It has an orc in it. It doesn't. That's just what the stupid Foundry default <laughs> art has. Uh, <laughs> um, but as it's now, it falls, and the way it starts its fight is it's going to hurl a pseudopod attack at you, Zed. Disadvantage because I'm in range. I'm in melee. <laughs> Why is that disadvantage? No, I'm asking. I think it's a range attack. No, it's not it's a range attack. Oh, okay. Uh, it's an 18 to hit. You see, I got to burn a fucking spell slot. No, I'm not going to burn a spell slot. I'm going to burn my last inspiration to lower it one. So that it misses. Oh, no. Yes. Okay. Uh, I don't want to know what it does. <laughs> okay. You I'm sure one of us will find out. Duck underneath the big round glob of just goo that wink out towards you, and you manage to duck right past it. Uh, mm. Ricky, you're at the first. What do you do? Ah, um, first one with twenty. Who? That's I great. Have black. I have that, gift of black. I rolled a five 20. on my D8. Yeah. Okay. Not it. No, I'm sorry. No. I don't know. Zed, how to, you're yeah, first. Yeah, I don't know how to do that. Uh, so one second. Let me see if this is an action or a bonus action. I am going to hexblade curse it with my bonus action. Is that a? Does that have a spell slot? No. Okay. Um. You hex place was... curse the pudding? Yes, the pudding. Not a... uh, so that's bonus action, and then I am going to take that flail back out, and I am going to swing at it. <laughs> still coated in your blood. Yep, still coated in my blood for a good old 12. That hits. Uh, yeah, and I'm going to booming blade, so it's going to be this. And then, so that's nine. Uh, what is that? bludgeoning I think One second. Yeah. yeah 9 bludgeoning and then it's going to be 2d8 no is that 2d8 or 3d8 how does that work I've never used booming blade so it takes a little bit of damage right now from booming blade and then if it moves it will take the bigger chunk of damage so 6 it's just 1d8 right yeah. yes uh, so 6 thunder damage and then 2d8 if it moves whenever it moves if it moves for this turn yes uh, 
that's gonna be that, and I am going to stay in the sauce. The house. I shouldn't. Uh, okay. Should you move. you I take. Move. I should move. Uh, hold that, that thought. You take uh -huh. eight points of acid damage, and your flail now has a minus one penalty to damage and attack rolls. Poop. Eroding it. No, uh, this thing is eating away at my my fucking flail. Be and careful. Face. Eight, you said? Yes. Fuck. Okay. That changes up a little bit of what I was going to do. I bet it does. <laughs> yes, it does. Fuck it. I'm moving. Give me the opportunity. Okay. It will swing at you. Mm -hmm. uh, it flings the pseudopod at you once again. Please do low. It's a 21 to hit. Shield. That requires a spell slot, correct? Yep. Roll me a d100. Mm -hmm. I hate that things get fucky around this weird thing. Yes, they do. 48. Wild magic has always worked in my favor. Okay. I'm running low on slots. I have no slots. What the slot? <laughs> uh, okay. 48. Ooh. I have two first levels and a second level left. I have one fortune in the many, and my hex blade is done. You so turn into see. a potted plant. Okay, uh, before that, do three extra damage. <laughs> Uh, because I Hexblade cursed it. Okay. <laughs> Don't you I have an inspo that. you could use to reroll that potted plant roll? I do not. I'm a potted plant, my friends. Uh, <laughs> okay. You have Is he a handsome potted plant? Yeah, he's like a, a nice looking... Like a gorgeous what kind of plant ficus? Am, I? am I like a fern? Sure. You can be whatever potted plant you like. What happens is, as the pseudopod comes this. flying towards you... You throw off the shield, and the pseudopod, like, you see it splat on the shield. And then as the shield, like, really solidifies itself, everything around you suddenly glows like a pale blue. And you glance over, and you see the orb between the captain's hands. The captain just shakes his head as suddenly your perspective, and it's just darkness, because you are now a potted plant. Oh, shit, they got Zed! Uh, so Zed, you are incapacitated for the moment. Yeah. I will tell you when you are no longer. <laughs> Please do. Ricky. Uh. <laughs> I didn't expect that. Ricky, <laughs> you're up. Um, you watch <laughs> Zed turn into a pot of plant. Okay. Um, but I also saw Zed do some damage, right? A little. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I'll, I'll take that bomb, I guess, out again that I had just yeah. put away and okay. go ahead and throw it at the this thing. Um, okay. At the pudding. <laughs> um, I need a dexterity save from Joe and Ash. I got this. I don't know about the cat, though. 26. I'm not good at these. Well, uh -oh. R.I.P. Kitty Cat. This is not the same as a gelatinous cube. It is not. But it doesn't matter. Oh, Jesus. Uh, it's not the. So, it's not absorbing the bomb. No. Um, roll the damage. <laughs> 86, I think. Now. This is what happens the last time. It worked so well before. Woo. Whoa. Shh. Fucking amazing rolls. Okay, Ash and Joe, you both take half of that. Is it fire damage? Uh, it's force damage. Damn it. I'm so sorry. Ow. So it's... That's okay. You're doing your best. 17? Yeah, it's 17. We run down. Uh, the black pudding also saved. Ow. Ooh, I'm not looking good. Me neither. I'm looking oh, worse. I'm, looking I'm so sorry. You did your best, Ricky. It is, uh, 
<laughs> it's okay. I shot myself. Oh, so it's Zed. Like... Um, as a potted plant, oh, potted... you can't make a dexterity save because you're incapacitated. Um, the potted mm -hmm. plant has five hit points, so you take thirty points of force. Hey, so do I. Am I dead? No, you're back to yourself. You yeah, are no longer polymorphed. Um, oh, okay. I'm, up, I'm, a, I'm about to be dead then. You're, the potted plant Same. has five hit points, so you take five off the damage the bomb did, and you have your HP minus 30. Yep. Yeah, you're looking rough. Yeah, I'm going to die. We should retreat. <laughs> this isn't looking good, guys. Uh, Joe. Yo. Am I technically still right next to him then, since I turned into a plant after that shield? Uh, no, because you were running away. Um, mm -hmm. you had moved five feet away from it, and then you turned into a potted plant, so you kind of, like, boom, 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 like, bounced on the ground a little bit. Yeah. So you're where you are right now. Joe, okay. what are you doing? Uh, <laughs> ow. <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> do I have, a, do I have a, a heal potion? Jesus, No. I have I one. requisition some? Jesus. We we had one each. If you, you didn't put it in your inventory. I must have used it already. You used it after the poison clouds because you were fucked. Yeah, I got fucked up. So yeah, it's gone. Uh Joba just put her back to the wall and she said, I think we need reinforcement. <laughs> or to abandon this town. I don't know which. She's gonna hold her action if anything comes around the corner to attack. Okay. And she's hoping everyone will run with her. <laughs> Oh, so you're calling for a retreat. Ah, dude. Okay. I have five hit points. And uh, no healing spells left. Alright. Ash. Mm. It's your turn. Alright. Well, that changes things up. <laughs> um... This is all I got for you, Zed. Last second level health spell slot. Um, can you even see me? Yeah, he yeah can I can see, see the corner of you. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. You can see your elbow sticking out. Wow. Um, goodness. Okay, well. I'm going to move here. That was 10 feet. And I'm actually going to... Inject a needle. This is technically a spell. Yeah. Does it cost a spell slot? Yeah. Roll me a D100. Okay. Well, here's the cure wounds. And now you're a potted points. plant. Thank you. 72. Uh, roll me a D six. Three. A creature randomly within sixty feet of you becomes poisoned for the next four hours. Oh. Uh, Ricky, you suddenly feel this nausea wash up from underneath. Like, you just suddenly feel horrible. You are poisoned. Okay. Well, uh, move 10 feet back, and then another 10 feet. And oh, this is a shitty situation. Um, okay. Um, I'm going to use feline agility again to move back another 10. You moved the previous round, did you not? This was a start. Of, that was the start of combat. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll just move back. It's fine. 
I'm right there. All right. Uh, well, that's it. It's now Astra's turn. Um, Astra. She sees everyone trying to recoil for a retreat. What does Astra do? That's a good question. Uh, Astra sees you suffering the poison condition, Ricky, and she's just going to quickly smack you with a lesser restoration. And you are no longer poisoned. Hold on. Uh, let me see if there's anything else that she can do here. I don't think so. Uh, she will move back, seeing that we're getting ready to run. Uh, it's now the captain's turn. Ca <laughs> the captain, who's just concentrating on this orb, looks up at you, Zed, and at the pudding, and you just hear him say, I tried to warn you. I am. You did. Uh... He doesn't do anything except concentrate on his channel. It's now the pudding's turn. Zed, you're isolated. Ash, you're here. Ricky, you're there. He's It's booming bladed, but I don't think it's smart enough to know what the fuck that means. Uh, it's definitely not. So I'm going to roll a D3 to see who it goes for. Hey. Uh, it slides upward, uh, immediately taking the booming blade damage. Please roll me that 2d8. Plus three, right? Because my hex blade's curse? Yep. Uh, so, 14 thunder damage. Okay. Uh, and it gets right up in your face, Ricky. And a pseudopod comes flying out towards you. I don't think a 12 hits you, does it? Nope. Alright, that's his turn. It's now Aaron's turn. Aaron sees that and she says, What the fuck is that? Uh. Jesus Christ, you have no help. Uh, Aaron is going to bonus action hand you a potion. And then action, fire an arrow at the black footing. Thanks. Fuck me right sideways. It's trying. Uh, okay. Attack. Normal. 23 to hit. That hits. It's in melee with Ricky right now, so it does get sneak attack. Aaron deals 24 points of damage to the pudding. Jesus, like max damage on everything. Um, and then she will retreat to right here. Zed, you're up. I'm going to chug my only healing potion. Mm -hmm. Bonus action or action? Um, let me just walk up here first. Ew. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How many feet was that? How many feet was that? Let's check. Well, let's uh, it was right here. Ten. Okay. So I'm gonna go up there one to save a spot because I'm gonna need to get away. I'm gonna do it as a bonus action. Roll me an Arcana check, Zed. Okay. Will the potion not work? Fifteen. You see the captain concentrating on this orb, and whatever he's doing. It requires his concentration. You know... So, over the table. I was gonna go down there and just fucking wail on him with the flail. But I mean, I, I tried to shoot like, at him and then it shot me, if, so... It, yeah, and then I was thinking if that happened again, 
I just lose that as a character. So I was trying to do the smart thing. But I should say fuck Zed, right? Because what I wanted to do was run down there and swing my flail at him. At him. You could always uh, roll. You can always try. <laughs> Flip a coin. I you argue you're playing him that. very strategic, and I don't know if that's a strategic move. It's not. It's and not Zed's little. been like very strategic through this entire battle. Is the only like RP thing I'm thinking. Yeah. Yeah. I know. I know. But I still can't I get mean, around this block. I mean, what Douche wants to do. Thought. Well, I was also thinking about sacrificing him to try to get you guys out of here, but... I think we'll, um, we'll be able to leave. The problem is he'll finish whatever he's doing. We might just have to take the uh, L, my guy. So I use 10 feet. How much is the rest of this 10? Because I still can't even get past him. I would end right in his fucking range still, which... That would be bad. Yep. <laughs> Can so Eldritch Blast him? I, was real quick. I can. Oh, that's a spell. You don't. No, it's a cantrip. It's a cantrip. Oh, it's a cantrip. Oh, that's true. It's not a level spell. Alright. Bonus action. I'm still going to drink my potion. 2d4 plus 2. Here, you roll yeah, it. Where is it? Did I? What did I roll? Yeah, six? you rolled a you six. Rolled a six. <laughs> that's more than half. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'll take it. I'm gonna look at this guy concentrating in it. I'm gonna look at the the, the pudding. That's so if it's meant to be, it's there. meant to be. And I'm gonna fire Eldritch Blast with the pudding. Okay, go ahead and roll your spell. Roll your attack. I'm kind of fucking cornered, you know. So, oh, yep. guess what? That's a crit because it is Hexblade cursed. Nineteens are crits. So it is. So it's gonna be. Uh, ba 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 ba. So it's going to be this. It's going to give it to you. 6 plus 3 plus 10. So that's 19 points of force damage. 19 Splattered points of goo. force damage? Yeah, yeah crit. crit. Okay, uh, hold on. Uh, okay, and it's force, correct? Yeah. Okay. Um, here's what happens. Zed, said, oh, you're caught one. between a rock and a hard place. This ritual is occurring behind you. This pudding is splitting you off from your friends and is extremely dangerous. You take a deep breath, and as you send the Eldritch Blast forward, the force energy of it slams into this pudding. You're not sure, front or back. It doesn't really matter. But as the energy slams into this black pudding, you see the inside of it suddenly begin to glow brighter and brighter as it begins to in almost inflate with the power of this force and then <laughs> the black pudding explodes all over the walls. You kill it. Seven hit oh. points to me. Because <laughs> it explains curse. Ricky and Ash, I need a dexterity save. Okay, oh, I'm sorry. I'm good, I'm good by this wall. You're not within five feet of it. Ooh, okay. You get advantage, though, uh -huh. Ricky. That's true, Ricky does get advantage, because it's something she can see. Ricky, oh, right, right. yeah, yeah, roll again. Ash, you don't take any damage. Thank Ricky, God. you don't take any damage. You manage to dodge the spray of acid that all over the place from the dying black pudding. Are we Zed? regrouping? Are we going for this guy? Astra, can you help the the wounded? We need to take this man out. No, no spells, no projectiles, old fashioned. Astronauts. Can she do that healing spirit spell? She knows. That's a spell. Oh yeah. <laughs> can we do it like <laughs> around the corner? Like, no spells. We like don't know where. The... Well, you don't know what the cutoff is for the the weirdness. That's a good point. Oh, fashion. I just got so much health back from all that. I can take um, I mean, I'm good. I, I like to hold up my, my axe. Get in there. Yeah, that's what you do. Come you on, do the old I'm fashioned. Good. Um. Go murder How far is this drop? 
10 feet. I jump 10 feet. Okay, into the water. you land on your feet, you're fine. Um, so it's 10, 20, I got another 10 feet. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. I want to get away from this. I'm just going to go here. Okay. I'm not going to shoot an Eldritch. Ah! Do it. This is a projectile. No, it's, it's, if it hits me, I fucking am fucked. Um, you know what? It's not the ball's not. It, the, I'm assuming the ball's in his hand, right? It's yeah. not like pointed in that direct. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm not gonna shoot it then. Okay. Uh, that's my turn. Ricky, a black pudding just died in front of you, and maybe it's time to rally. What do you do? Yeah, I... Let's see here. I... So I have a thing uh, where I believe I can move 40 feet now because of my subclass. Yeah, you can move 40 feet as a barbarian. Yeah. Yeah, so I guess I'm going to just move... Everybody said do it the old-fashioned way, so I'm just going to move up on this light. Get a running jump? Can I do that, or is that too far? Yeah, you yeah. can do that. There's just a risk of you taking falling damage. That's okay. Uh, I will rage and then do that. Okay, roll me a dexterity save. Okay. Advantage. It's not. No. <laughs> that's not how it works. <laughs> you can't see oh, the ground. Not? It's not an incoming attack or trap. It's nothing. I'll reroll. I'll reroll. Oh, well, you got a 13 <laughs> as your first roll. The DC is 12. It's not a hard. So okay. you, you got it. You're fine. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Hit the ground running. <laughs> Always advantage. Uh, but I'm not close. I don't think I'm close enough to be in melee, right? Yeah, just melee. Jump. You're right. You. So you started here, and no, you were five yeah. feet short. But you can throw. Okay. It or you can. Yeah, I was gonna say. So since I can't quite get it with my axe, I'm just gonna throw a javelin. Uh, I have some javelin. Oh wait. Uh. When I shot him, no, he shot me back. Right, right. No, you're right. Okay, so I'm not going to throw something because I'm not that dumb. Um, <laughs> so I will, in case he moves, I'll ready in action that if he gets within range, I'll swing my axe at him. Okay. <laughs> Joe. Yo. I'm going to take, uh, I'm going to drink this potion as a bonus action. Okay. 2d4 plus 2, right? Yes. Yeah. Six. You for 6. I have 11 hit points. Let's go, Let's go, boys and girls. She's going to spout. Take a deep breath. This is what she's living for, is killing these fuckers. 25 feet. She's going to action dash. 5. 10. 15. 20. 25, 30. Just get yeah. up in his face. Okay. <laughs> she just says, we're gonna ignore me now. <laughs> uh, her turn. He doesn't say anything. Uh, Don't bait him. Ash, it's your turn. <laughs> All right, I am gonna combat medic myself. Uh, where is it? There it is. Oh, well, okay. So either a 15 or lower. One. I am a mess right now. <laughs> this kitty cat is tired. Okay, 15. You 15, 15 healing to me. Nice. Uh, and then... I can't get there or do anything, because I just used my action. You can uh, I can, but ah, that's fine. I'll just walk up here. Is it better to walk on both turns or not walk now and walk double next turn? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking the about. The result is the same. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll just move there. Okay. Just kind of standing up on the ledge, kind of getting, getting an overview of everything. Sure. It's now Astra's turn. Astra will move here, move here, action dash, 
and jump down into the water. It's now the captain's turn. When you say ignore me now, he is still focusing on the channel, but he looks over his shoulder just enough to respond, and he says, The hubris of the living will be your downfall. Suck my ass. He doesn't <laughs> say anything to that. Uh, it's Aaron's turn. <laughs> I hope those are Joe's last words. <laughs> <laughs> they might be. Oh. Joe joined the army to kill undead. She's not out of undead yet. Uh, Aaron will jump down. Wow, she rolled really bad on her initiative. Yeah, she did. She rolled dog shit. Um, and that's as far as she gets. Dog pile. Zed. Zed, I've given you advantage. Get in here. I walk. I actually, like, as we're now all surrounded, I look over at my comrades and I take my flail and I smack it against my shield. I walk over. It's like it's your chest again. <laughs> No, not my chance. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna swing my flail at him. Okay. Flail! Roll attack at advantage. advantage because of flanking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, I rolled Jedi. a one and a two. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> that does not hit. <laughs> Rallying cry. Uh, he never used this flail. This is why. This is why I typically don't use it. Um, <laughs> what do I got in the inventory? I'm gonna fucking throw a Camina crystal at him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can't bonus you action swing? No. He's a warlock. They get one I'm attack. I'm a fucking warlock. Yeah, but that... can't you... Oh yeah, you have to offhand swing. Yeah. Uh, I can two... Uh, you can throw me a dagger, I'll two weapon fight. You can't do that. <laughs> I'm busy. No, no, I'm light. kidding. I know, I know. <sighs> Uh, that's he my turn. The light hit him in the face like ten minutes ago. Yeah, it's true. We just Ricky, you're up. Pin. come on, Ricky. Uh, I, I know I I raged that last time because I I didn't know what I was not saying. So I will use my last rage again. Tail okay. come out again. Um, I'll Get move right suit. up on here. I don't remember how flanking yeah. works in this game. Do I have? Is that you have to have you... somebody to draw right through it? Unfortunately, so... you cannot get flanking in this situation right now. Oh, I can't do it? Okay, so then I will just and I corner the dude. <laughs> no. <laughs> Come on in. <laughs> no. I'll recklessly attack. Come on in, Ricky. Fuck him up. <laughs> Make your attack. Uh, yeah. I'll use the great axe. <laughs> it's a good gif. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's it. 15? 15 does not hit. Oh my what goodness, we guys. Doing? We're he's, all gonna he's, die. Swing. He's got very heavy armor on. Swing again. <laughs> Man, I wish oh, I had shocking grasp. Out. Nice. There we go. Nice. 26 hits. Well damage. Okay. First actual damage to this guy. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Plus, plus two is 19. Plus two for the dick. Hold on. Making a concept. Okay. As you music slash... with this dog gift is great. Okay. As you slash into this captain and you deal damage to him, he just moves slightly with the hit, but he remains concentrating on the orb. He's not rolling con saves at advantage, is he? <laughs> I mean, how do we know? I Because I have one more restore balance. He rolled it with advantage. I'm going to restore balance. The first roll was above it. Actually, yeah, that's fine then. I'll so. use it. That's fine. Yeah, I said that. I was just thinking I was going to should have waited until we did something over 20 damage. That's fine. Uh, that Joe. Yo. Well, I got pull out a fucking short sword. That's all I have. Um, give him the stabby 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 Yeah, give, give him advantage. Stabby stabby. 24. 24 hits. Damage. Woo! Eleven. Nice. Okay. Eleven points of piercing damage. All right. Make your con save. I'm doing it. Don't you worry. You, I got it. <laughs> you worry about you. <laughs> I'm so worried about me. Don't worry about it. He maintains concentration. I stab again. 
I stab at thee. Okay. 20 to hit. 18, sorry, 18 hit. Different modifier than my usual 18 attacks. misses. Yeah. And bonus action attack. I have two short swords. Okay. So I just do it without proficiency, You do right? not get to add your modifier to damage. Because you do not have the dual wielder feat. Okay, but I can... So it's still plus you 8 can, to hit? It's still plus 8 to hit, it's just I less never damage. I never fight like this. It's just a okay. D6 for a short sword. Alright, well, oh god, I might as well fucking try. 28, I'm not sorry, 26 to. To hit. Blah, 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 blah. 26 hits. Go ahead and roll damage. Oh god, this is reminding Three. me of down in the temple in the other campaign on the, uh, the ritual. And yeah. the guy rolled like 19 fucking... Stop! <laughs> Make it stop! <laughs> and you succeeded all of them. God all damn. Of them. Natural 20. <laughs> all right. Keeps poking him. Ash. Fucking die. Okay. Well, uh, I'm gonna leave that other flanking spot open for Aaron. What, what other flanking spot? This one. Uh, there's none. No, the that's a one wall. That's here. a wall, my boy. That's a can't, that's a ledge. Can't squeeze what are in there. About? No. Get over here. That's bullshit. Oh. Okay. Yeah, well, then up. I will I will dart over here to give flanking to someone else that wants to squeeze in okay. across from me. Um, uh, he pulls out what? a scalpel. <laughs> a what? A scalpel. What did you pull? That's like a little uh. tiny knife. Cut <laughs> <laughs> okay. his artery. <laughs> this is what I got, man. Here You're looking go. at this towering undead soldier in like Black full plate armor. Yeah, I'm going right for the. Key. I'm gonna slice the Go killer heel. Oh shit! I hit. Did you do it? Uh, with a plus four. Twenty one hits. Yeah, <laughs> roll damage. Uh, this is great. All right, max damage. Five. Yes, kitty cat. <laughs> I I try to slice that as Achilles' uh, heel <laughs> with You're the scalpel. Low uh, he succeeds. Damn it. so funny if you failed, though. <laughs> he, uh, I mean, you managed to find a gap in the greaves. <laughs> He's like, ow. <laughs> that kind of hurt. Anything else on your turn? Mm, uh, nah, that's it. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Wait. Okay. Uh, yeah, no, nah, that's it. That's it. That's it. Okay. It's Astra's turn. Astra, <laughs> she, like, looks at all of you gathered around him. Going to punch party. Uh, she will occupy the same space. But she can have flanking. Okay, she'll fair. occupy no. the same space. No. Or she'll leave occupy it for Aaron. Space. Okay, fuck. Sorry, I spoke. Go occupy the same space. That was what she was gonna do. Okay, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Step on. Uh, this is fine. This is fine. I'm I'm cool with this. And she swings her make scimitar. It weird. Nice. I wasn't trying to make it weird. <laughs> oh, my it's brain a just nine went there. to hit. <laughs> Doesn't hit. The captain's turn. Oh fuck. The orb... Are you guys ready for the consequences? The orb grows and takes it suddenly. It like <sighs> suddenly. The light that it is emitting changes color completely to a dark green. Mm. His hands grow closer to it as if grasping it, but he is remaining channeling. It's now Aaron's. <sighs> Aaron okay, Aaron. Sprints around the back and is going to Perfect. make. Uh, going she to try has and advantage. Get an advantage. Yep, she's going to try and sneak attack him. Come on, crit. Come on, critty. I've been rolling a lot of nat 20s. Nat 20. <laughs> really? Does she really? Yeah. Really? Does she really? Away. She ah. really did. Oh, MVP. God. Ah. I'm so glad we saved her life. <laughs> I'm so glad that Astra didn't take the fucking advantage spot. Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared. Okay. 
Uh, that's a shit ton. 12, 7, 37 points of piercing damage. Oh. And he has to roll an 18 to maintain uh, concentration? Half of that. You round down. Yeah, 18. But yeah, yeah 18. 18. Hold on. I have to Hooray! apply the damage first because it was a lot. Ah! I should have waited for the restore You didn't know this would happen. I didn't know. He makes. He's making his con save right now. Let's see. I think we got info. No. <laughs> Twenty-one. God Ugh. fucking damn! I, I'm damity out damn! Out of inspos. This is our. Yeah, our best nothing. opportunity. I have no inspos either. Nada. Okay. The Simic. <laughs> he's not here. <laughs> yeah, but you know he would. Zed, no. it's your turn. Flail. <laughs> I, okay, I go flail. It's gonna work one day. <laughs> flail. Flail. Just flail your arms. I'm going to warn you guys. I'm going to warn you guys. If you cannot interrupt him by doing enough we damage die. or by const by interrupting the concentration by his turn this turn, bad bad shit will happen. And we will we deal with that. Okay. No, we're just gonna all die. 20 hits. Roll damage. This is going to be a booming blaze. <laughs> Even though he's not moving, I just want the extra D8. That's fair. <laughs> uh, so it's going to be 12 plus a D8. Roll an 8. 6. 18 points of damage. Okay. I have an idea. Hopefully it works. I also have an idea. I don't. Ricky. <laughs> I'm gonna swing my axe. That sounds yes. good. Yeah. Best uh, idea. Did he save? Yes, he saved. Okay. Man, we blew our lo load early with all of our hit guys. Stop nodding. <laughs> <laughs> Just looking at your face, your smug little grin. <laughs> I hey, I told you. Yeah, it's your turn. The, the ad for this campaign is it was going to be hard and brutal. So, uh, Ricky, roll that attack. Are you okay. recklessly? Yeah, I'm going to roll reckless. Because he's not fighting back. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes! Yes! Whoa. There's hope. <laughs> roll damage. Are you going to save us all right now? Ricky. Yes. Oh, Ricky! Oh. Ricky. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's so that's twelve well, plus another two or three. Hold on, dude. I don't even know. <laughs> okay, so twelve 16. plus six is eighteen. Plus twelve is thirty. Thirty points of slashing damage on that hit. Plus two. Ah! Plus <laughs> Thirty-two points of slashing damage. So he needs to roll a sixteen to save. Yes, he does. Yeah. Still an amazing, amazing guy? hit. Wait, are, we <laughs> yeah, are we gonna kill him? Yeah, are we gonna kill him? Okay, hold on. Here goes the con save. The dice roll that might change the flow of the world. The what? What'd you roll? I rolled an 11. Yes! Yes! Did you roll? Immediately the orb... <gasps> as soon ah! as the orb collapses, as it falls apart in his hands, the captain just looks up, sees you all just surrounding him, wailing on him, and for a brief moment, there's a very human look of acceptance yes. on his face. And then where the orb was, his hands slowly begin to crush and collapse into that spot, and then the rest of his body crushes into it until all of him is pulled into where that orb was, and with a loud, raucous, <laughs> he's gone. Oh. Are we okay? Ash hisses. I give Ricky the biggest hug ever. Oh my god, I dogpile like, one of that shit. I just bear hug her. I'm I don't think she's trying to apologize. You fucking savage. I'm apologizing savage you. to everyone for throwing Why a bomb. Why are you fucking so 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 him? Wait, what happened? You threw a bomb? <laughs> I think I almost we're, killed everybody. We're gonna move on from that. It's fine. You oh. made up for it. Everything went black, and then I just woke up hurting. <laughs> hey, you threw a bomb at me? Oh, not, not at you exactly. 
Hey, we're moving on. on. The point, the point is, we're all fine. We're chest. all alive. <laughs> it is at this moment, Holy as you have managed to stop a ritual that would have ended Stonefield, we are oh, going to... Oh. And us. Maybe. We are going to call the session there. As it is nearly 10 o'clock, uh, let me go ahead and pull you all over to... Three minute RP vote. Did he have... Did he have plus eight with that advantage rolls? Uh, or plus six. Plus six. Okay. Yeah. He had it's a good like con. It was an amazing yeah. con, but he had yeah. a good con. Yeah. It's still like a 12% shit. It's a failing out of 10. Uh, okay, so now we're here. You've succeeded Ooh. on my Save start the, the City puzzle. Um, we're actually going to start with... Uh, we're going to start with AJ... Because AJ has to leave, and I want to make sure that her opinion is heard first. So, AJ, who did something that you liked? Who did something interesting? What's your RP vote for? Um, my RP vote is gonna go uh to Dooch for um the like choices you made as you got trapped in between, um, and then. Finishing off the pudding with an Eldritch Blast, I thought that was great choice for the character, and really glad it landed. So that's where mm. my vote goes. Thank you. Okay, uh, class, you're next. Um, a lot of important roles today, but I think the moment that stands out for me, which was great and in character, was the fact that. Ricky was more affected at the loss of Jasper <laughs> than anybody else. Uh, that was that was great. I'm gonna vote for that. Okay. Uh, next, Dooch. I gotta give it to Joe for being like you fucking idiots. Like it's a f powerful wall of wind. What did you think was gonna happen? <laughs> I don't know how many different ways I can explain this wall to you guys. Stop putting Just things like... in it. <laughs> Yeah, like, <laughs> stop. What is wrong with y'all? I yep. thought it was funny. It was really good. It was very <laughs> funny. All right, Pen. I was going to give it to Ricky before the killing blow that saved all of our lives and the entire town, uh, but that that's just gravy, I guess. I wanted to give it to you because you, you were, like, so instrumental in keeping those fuckers back in that fog cloud, like, while the rest of us could take pot shots at them. Like, that... Uh, and Simic obviously helped, even though that he wasn't here. But like that was game changing in the fog cloud too. But like in this specific battle, Ricky like really shown because people were in hitting distance finally. Crucial. And thank you for all the buffs because I was <laughs> just sucking up hits because of the buffs. <laughs> uh, I want an honorable mention. Always buff your uh, I want to honorable mention Simic for the realistic bear noises. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Good job, Simic. <laughs> I'm sure he'll be pleased to hear it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, so, AJ, it's your popular opinion. You have won the player's inspiration. Well done. Yeah, well deserved. I'm Thank clapping, you just can't hear it. Well played, everybody. There was a lot of ways that could have gone. There was a lot of ways to get over to that ritual. Uh, using the purging rod was a good decision. Um... Well played. Boy. I had fun. I hope I you guys ask. did too. We saved the city, guys. Wait, wait, I gotta ask. If we leave, the whole base just blows up. Right? Maybe. So, we don't we don't know what the thing was gonna do. I'm not going to reveal what was going okay. to happen, but yeah, I yeah, will yeah. say it would have been the end of Stonefield. Okay. Oh you know, maybe it was a portal oh. and it was just gonna let a whole bunch yep. of undead through and just rip the whole town apart. Could have been something like that, yep. It would have been bad news bears. Cool. Well, it's feeling similar to the obelisk or whatever before, right? Yeah, fuck that thing. Whatever it was, mm -hmm. it was not good. Mm -hmm. Weird. It's like necromancy does that stuff. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Appreciate you, Echo. Uh, uh, PayPal? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, thank you all for playing with me tonight. I had a great time running. I hope that was tense and satisfying because I should. Ah! <laughs> and on that note, uh, that's where the YouTube will end. So to all of you who are at, who are at home watching or at work, Hi, Pen. Hi, Pen. Hi, we love Pen. you. And we'll see you all next time. Good night, everybody. Yeah.